Welcome to Sewing Quarter. I'm Natasha McCarty and we're here for the next four hours live from our studios here in Birmingham and we've got lots of goodies to bring you. So let's see what we've got coming up today. So eight o'clock. Oh yes, blue sky cushions. You've been asking about this fabric an awful lot and here it is uh, for you today. And then at nine o'clock, it's all about the monkey business. Yes, you've been, again, you've been asking, how do we make these monkeys? We keep seeing these tilde monkeys, how do we make them? So we're gonna demystify all of that for you at nine, Joe Carter's here to help me. Then 10 a.m., kits for kids. Yes, those iconic cloth kits are back. So take a look at how easy easy those are to make and then at 11 o'clock oh yes it's your boho pom-pom cushion yes and that is 11 o'clock and Joe Carter is going to show us how to do a pom-pom Dresden plate cushion so a little bit of everything here on Sewing Quarter for a Sew It Saturday and we would always as ever like to hear from you. So how do I get in touch? I hear you say well here is how. Head to the website sewingquarter.com and head to watch, take a look, we'll be there live, and then message the studio. You can message us that comes straight into the studio for us to say, hello, 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 good to hear from you. What are you making today? Um, so, and why are you up so early, apart obviously from watching us? So message the studio, if you've got lots and lots and lots to say, then email, which is studio at sewingquarter.com. That's also the one if you've got any pictures that you wish to send in as well. Underneath that will be our shopping list for the day. That's yesterday's, that's about to clear as we start fresh again today. So everything that we have on the show today is gonna go on there and you're gonna be able to get it straight away from there oh yes so starting off here we go um back when i was seven my nanny mew bought me a sewing kit um and it was very similar to this in fact i've just had a big craft room clear out and i've still got it so 30 years on i've still got mine so i know these last i know that these are just brilliant and that you just keep and keep and keep them every household should have one and these give you your basic essentials now this is cracking good value today 29.95 but all of this we're going to get you the details in just one second but let me show you everything that's in here because it's stuffed full of goodies for you so not only do you get look at all of that oh yeah not only do you get a nice sharp pair of scissors in there but you're also going to get here we go uh your berry pins there and then you also get your dressmaking pins there you're also going to get, look at all those needles, very good, um, and then you get black and white, so you've got your thread ready to go, and you've got more needles in there, and you've also got a needle threader in there, you've got one of those nice pin cushions that you pop on your wrist, I don't know if you can see, it's got like a little elasticated bit there that you pop on your wrist, but you've also got pin cushion there, built in, so if I take all those goodies out, oh you get a lot, all of this for $29.95, by the way. Oh, look, you've got a tape measure as well. That's all stuck in there in your little handy pocket there. There it all is, which is fab. Look at that. That's, that's a big old bundle, isn't it, for $29.95. And then the actual box itself, which is really, really lovely, it gives you loads and loads of storage space, which is fab. So not only do you have a great starter kit, maybe this is for someone who's just, um, just moving house, you know, starting up a home together, maybe they're off to university, this gives you everything that you need. You even get a nice little tray to put all your little goodies in and then put all your fat quarters and your material in there. So it's got like a satiny finish on here. It feels so soft. That was the first thing that producer Paul said when he got it. He's like, oh, it's padded and it's really, really soft. So all of that is padded. This is the Mexican Twist Summer Bundle. It feels absolutely lovely. You've got your pincushion there, secret pocket there, sort of uh, velvety, but then you've got, look at that, fancy finish around there. Check out the fancy finish on that. And then a nice magnetic clasp, making it super easy to shut. She says doing it upside down and back to front. There we go. 
Uh, so you've got all of that. It's even got a little carry handle. How lovely is that going to be? Popped on your shelf. It's really beautiful. Uh, and ram pack full of goodies. And that's what we like. Let's put them all back in there so you get your pin cushion that you've got. And of course, you've got oodles of pins. So you've got your round headed ones, you've got your dressmaking ones, you've got needles there with your thread and your needle thingy, you've got your uh, ne more needles, scissors going in there, let's pop those in there. And you also get your tape measure. All of that in that kit, $29.95. We will come back to this later, but I wanted to give you a heads up because that is a great price and a lovely gift. So QJKB26 is your code. Now, it's called Blue Sky Cushions. Let's take a look why. Come with me over here. Uh, because I've been busy making. I've been making cushions. One of my favorite things to do. So um, you may not have, you may have realized I haven't been on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's because I've been home frantically sewing things while Amy and John hold the fort. So. Um, let's have a look at these two because lots of you have been asking woo, how to make these two. Now, the template is in a book which I'm going to show you in a minute. But they're just, you know, for anybody that loves a dog or a cat. And also, look, you can turn them around. So if you've got someone who loves dogs and doesn't like cats, spin it around that way. If you've got someone who loves cats and doesn't love dogs, then you've got it that way. And it all works together. There you go, pop those there. So the bundle that I made those from is this bundle here. Now you're getting two meters of fabric and coordinating thread. So let's have a look at these fabrics, half a meter of each. And I have to say, look, you can see the beautiful finish on here. And you see it's got sort of a, a shimmery finish. It's just, it's lovely. It feels lovely. And I have to say they were so easy to actually use but they do have a gorgeous finish on. So this is your Meadow Cadet and Rustic Gate. But I chose this one. This is the one that I did the main front of the cushions. And then you get your solid, your plain solid. That's what I did the dog and the cat out of. Uh, so that was the front of the cushion. That was the bandana. And that was the back of one of the cushions. There we go. So 22.45 for all of that PGGC 49. And I have to say, um, that actually there was a lot of fabric left over and hardly any thread uh, used at all. So loads of thread left over as well. Let's have a look at this one. So this is the other cushion that I've made. Now I've just done envelope backs with these, but there you go. It just, it was a way to just showcase all of the fabrics. And all I did was, um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, cut four. Now these were four and a half inch squares so that they're a finished four inch square and it was a 16 inch cushion, so that worked. Um, and then I just put, I did them in order and then just took one and put it to the back. And that was how I did it, it was really simple. Um, and that was all used with this fabric. So let me show you the fabric here. Lots of you loving the hearts. And this is your um, Sweetheart Azura. A little different, I've not seen one like this before. It's lovely, isn't it? Really lovely fabric. And I think it's a nice cross between um, masculine and feminine. You know, there's a something for everyone in there. And then within this range, you've also got, look at these. The cream, so you've got a nice neutral and the blue version. Can you see in there, you've got, it's that pattern, but just as a lovely neutral. So it just gives a bit of interest, a bit of texture. And then you've got also your plane in there as well, which is so handy to have, and which then just gives that, that little bit of extra detailing. And that is how that cushion was made with that thread, 22.45 for that. And one more to show you is over here. So this is a little bit similar to that one in that you've got that chain there, but you've got it in the blue. And then you've got that lovely floral. Again, look at the finish on this fabric. It's so luxurious to use. And then you've got your little circles. Love those. So you can mix and match these bundles. You know, they will work beautifully together. So whichever way, if you've got more than one, then you know you can really work with those fabrics. But they just, they were an absolute joy to work with. Uh, whether you're going to quilt, whether you're going to applique it, whatever you're going to do with it, it's a joy. Don't forget, you get your thread in there as well, 22.45. 
and that's your meadow beach house and rustic gate bluebird fabric. Now, if you want to make these, Ah, oh, producer Paul's saying the sweetest things. He says that they're some of his favourite cushions and he's not really a dog or a cat lover. So that's a big compliment from him. Um, only because he's allergic. But this is, this is the kind of animal that actually you can, you can cope with, isn't it, Paul? There you go. So whether or not you, um, you're a dog lover or a cat lover, there's a cushion there for you. Now, I had the page marks and of course I've now got a different version of the book. I've got to find it again. Bear with me. Oh, here it is. So this is your um, Silhouette Pet Cushions here. And this was what gave me the inspiration. Because in the book, in your 50 fat quarter makes, um, well, firstly, you get 50 fat quarter makes in there. But look, you see, you've got that sort of ticking type fabric, which was why I went with this bundle uh, to do that. And then I just used the blue plain and then one of the contrasting fabrics for that. Now, they've done it. Um, as a cat on one side, dog on the other. But I wanted to show you both. So that's, it's an option, isn't it? Just an option. But there you go. That's, yeah, you don't want them that close to you. Dogs and cats will fight. That's just. Uh, now, the templates are in the back of the book. Two ways, um, two ways to do these templates, by the way, because as you can see in the back of the book, they're idly biddly. So you can either photocopy it and then increase it, um, or, there's <laughs> a bear, so you've got all the templates for the makes in here, or um, you can go onto their website, it gives you the link on a website, and you can download full scale ones straight from there. So it's up to you, whichever one you feel most comfortable doing. Um, now, the other thing, here we go. I know it's mine when it's got lots of tags and things on it. So that was the first make that I really liked. Other makes I thought were really pretty and that would really work. Yeah, I know 50 makes in here for 13.95. But look at that. So if you take a look at this one, this is a great way to just use, um, use up either your scraps or use up, when you've got a bundle with all of these contrasting colors in, something like this is a really lovely way to showcase those different fabrics and then use your plain in between. Um, now, this works out at 28 pence per make. It's great value, isn't it? Really great value. Now, this is the other one that I really wanted to make, but I didn't have time. This was your quick boho quilt. But look at that. Wouldn't that look good in CAFE as well? But I think equally with these blues, and the thing that I really liked about this, I, I think it was because I had just done an awful lot of binding. No binding involved. No binding in that. Look, there's no binding on that quilt at all. So if binding is your bugbear, then this is perfect. So you basically, you do, you do a front and a back, turn them right sides together, sew around, leave something for turning through, and then quilt it. And I love that, I'm gonna make that. So that yeah, th that's what I mean. These, these blue colors would look absolutely lovely. Get a couple of these bundles and that would just work a treat because all, they're all gonna go absolutely beautifully together. So that's why I pinpoint that one because I thought that was really lovely. But then maybe you want something a bit more zhuzhy and that you wanted to do the chevron. Again, you've got in each of these kits, um, you've, got, you've got your blues and then you've got planes. So you've got light and dark, which is why it's perfect for something like that. So you've got all of these options within the book and, and you know, they're just, they're some of them. There's your templates. So it's always great to have a template, isn't it? But then you've got your beach huts along there if you want a wall hanging. So it's not all just quilting. Look at that, that's rather lovely, isn't it, as well? You've just got lots of different makes to get going with, 50 different makes. So, you know, I hear a lot of you say, well, I'm just not quite sure. Oh, what to do, I've lost my mojo, my sewing mojo. Grab a book like this and have a look through. And even if you don't make exactly the same one, it doesn't matter. It absolutely doesn't matter. It's giving you loads and loads of ideas. Look at that big bow. Oh, now you see, look at this. Lovely scarf as well. Oh yeah, I had to hide this one from Freddie. I was going to make me make that. 
Uh, that was the one I like. What else did I like? Look, you see, you've got all sorts in here. Skirts and just lots and lots of gorgeous goodies. Yeah, one day I'll be organised and have something like that. Actually, I've just had a good old craft room tidy up, so that would have worked a treat. But see, you know, something for the kitchen as well. So lots and lots of goodies in there. And there it is, $13.95, WNSP03. It's got all of the templates in there as well. So if you want to, you know, have a go at a plique. I don't do much plique, but it was an absolute pleasure to do. Absolute pleasure. So have a good go with that, WNSP03. Now, something that's very popular that we will show all day is the Mexican twist. It sounds like a dance, doesn't it? There it is. That is our Mexican twist. Maybe it's a salsa, who knows? But in that sewing basket, this is a complete sewing basket, you get all of those goodies in there. So you are going to get two different types of pins. You get your uh, tape measure, you get your scissors, you get black and white thread needles, more needles, um, and you also get your scissors, your pin cushion, the one that you wear around your wrist, and of course you get a lovely box to keep everything in. Keep the goodies on the top and then uh, you can put all your fat quarters in the bottom. So it's a really lovely size, not too big, not too small, it's just right. For $29.95, that is certainly a perfect gift for anyone. Maybe you want to take that to workshops with you, put all the things that you definitely need to take to workshops. It's lovely and it's strong as well. It's got a wooden, um, a wooden frame to it, so it's lovely and strong. And then it's got padding and then it's got the material on. So it's lovely to touch but sturdy and strong as well. So it's going to protect everything that you put in there. Cracking, cracking deal there. Now, uh, what are we looking at? Have a look at my dog. So, out of my bundle, which I'll get to in just a minute, this is your Meadow Cadet bundle. Most popular uh, collection so far. There he is. Now, I didn't get a chance to, but you can, of course, you know, sew round and do that. I've just, I've just appliqued that on. Um, but the material on the back is that. And I did, with the cat, you see, I did contrasting. So you see, you've started to use all of your fabrics, but they're working. They're all working together. So if you wanted, a, you know, a different look, then you can put those two together there. Or if you want just to show, show off your cat, then it's there like that. And you can put a little ribbon on his neck, you could put a little, um, a little bell, whatever you wanted, you can, you can do whatever you want with that. So um, if you are buying multiple bundles, because I know that a lot of you are, um, then all you need to do is either phone up or use the website and you're only going to be charged 1pmp per day. That's how it works here at Sewing Quarter. And I really think we should shout about this a lot. 2 95 is all the postage you will pay all day. It's magic. Check out as many times as you like throughout the day. Doesn't matter, you will only pay one lot of PMP. Um, so there we go, they are your pussycat and your dog and it was made out of this bundle here. Now I use this as a backing, this could well have been um, my little uh, bandana -y thing for the dog. But there was loads of fabric left, now I did the really inefficient thing of um, doing an envelope back for mine and there was still lots of fabric left. Um, do you want to see how much, in fact, let me give you, each one of these is half a metre, so you're getting two metres of fabric, plus you're getting the thread. Uh, 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 uh. But, I just, look, I want you to see this has got a lovely finish to it. I don't know what the technical term is, but it does have a lovely, lovely finish. You see, it's got a lovely luster. I'm going to call it a luster, ladies and gents. It's got a beautiful luster to it. And that's $22.95 for four of these half metre lengths. All coordinated. We've done the hard work for you. Oh, yes. All coordinated. Uh, so that you can just get going and make your favourite things. Um, so you've got that one. You've got the lovely light blue. Look at that one. And then, let me see, oh yes, here we go. So you've got your um, Breeze Baltic, you've got your Meadow Cadet and your Rustic Gate. 
don't know which one's which. Um, and then, so all of those just working beautifully together. So you can mix and match however you please. Now, I could have done my patchwork out of this. It would have gone beautifully. And there's your thread there. And just see how, oh, see the, oh, it just makes me happy when the thread matches. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, uh, here we go. Now, they've got, in the, in the 50 Fat Quarter Makes, you've got various different patchworks in there. Um, the reason that I chose to uh, do this was I did this out of four and a half inch squares. I literally just cut four and a half inch squares, four of each of the different ones, because I knew I was going to use a 16 inch cushion. So then it just, it finished up as a 16 inch cushion. So that's why. That's that. So this is out of your, um, that's your sweetheart one there. So that's that one. Should we waft this about? Let's show you this. And of course, the thread matches those paler ones as well, which is really lovely. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Lots of you loving the old hearts. It's a different way, isn't it? It's, um, it's a really lovely way of having your hearts. From a distance, it just looks like almost a polka dot. But then you get in and there's that check. But again, it's not your normal check. You've got all of that, and then you've got those hearts. They look like they're wild growing hearts, which is really lovely. 22 45, and you're getting four different fabrics, four different half meters there. Really rather lovely. There you go. Um, so you've got that one, and then, but look, if you just spin these around. Well, you can see, can't you? You can see on the cushion just how beautifully um, all of the colorways go. And you can see because you've got a different, different texture there because you've got this one. I love this one. This one just works so beautifully as the sort of the opposite of that one. But then complements this. I love that you get that plane in there with it because that's then going to pick up from there. It all works beautifully. 2245U0GC25. Yeah. Uh, so that's your sweetheart Azura and windswept fabric bundle. Love that. Mmm. Now our last bundle. Oh. Drop my zip. I'll show you that zip in just a second. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, now this one. This one's so pretty. It's kind of the opposite of this one here. So on this one, instead of getting the white uh, background, the cream background one, you get a blue background. Is this the most popular one? I think it's really lovely. So you get that sort of, it's, a, it's like a different take on ticking, isn't it? Really lovely, and you can see this has got a, a great luster to it. It's a fabulous finish to these. Uh, the cushions feel really lovely in them. Um, and then you've got this pretty floral in there. Isn't that lovely? And then you've got your spot. I love that you get a spot in this. There's your spot. And then you're also going to get your plain. There you go. So they're the four that you're getting in there, and whoop, and your thread there. Uh, so you're getting all four of those all in there, all together. And again, they work so beautifully. Now, this is most popular at the moment. No, oh, no, it's been over. Oh, it's a close run thing. Meadow Cadet, which is the one that I made the animals out of. The animals. Here they are. Now, with this, I put a little bit of interfacing just because I always wanted uh, that fabric to, uh, to stand out. So you can see that's been done. But this was just bonder webbed on. That was, that was all. There you go. So if you want to do any of your applique, then grab yourself some bonder web. We've got it on the show today. It's just not handy to have in your stash. There would have been nothing worse than loving, absolutely loving this project in the book and not having any bonder web. So you need your bonder web if you're going to be doing anything like this. It's just $2.95. It's the same as your postage. $2.95, pop it in your basket, uh, and then you've got it. You are getting over a metre of that, 120 centimetres. So there you go. Off you go. 
Um, producer Paul's getting all artistic upstairs. He's saying you could quilt the dog. You could. You absolutely could. I mean, the next step for me, I mean, I did this late at night, um, so I didn't actually get a chance to actually stitch it on. You could free motion around there. You could satin stitch him on if you wanted to. Uh, you could even do um, a little contrasting colour through there, and then you could do a little, a, a little stitch there with a satin stitch and give him a dog collar, you know, a little tag. Oh, there's lots of options for making quilts. You could make, yeah, you could make cat and dog quilts, couldn't you? Bing, bing, bing. You could different, have different critters all over it. So once you've got your template, you've got it there, haven't you, to use as much as you want. And also, you can have it any size that you want as well. It just, you know, depends on how big you want to make it. Yeah, there they are. Uh, now, uh, you'll notice with these, I wasn't frugal at all. I am, um, well, firstly, they're lovely and squidgy, and that was due to the cushion pad. Now, if you want a cushion pad, and they are lovely and soft and squidgy, these cushion pads, look at that, lovely and full. For your 40 by 40 centimeters, that's around 16 inches, it's 5.95, but they are really lovely, um, and just lovely and full and squishy. Mmm. Um, so if you want that, it's five ninety five. And you'll notice that with these, if you want your fabric to go further, then don't do an envelope back like I did. Okay. If you want to make your fabric go as far as you possibly can, do a zip. Just put a zip in, and the zip that works perfectly with this uh, this particular size, we've got for you on the show. So if you want the right, because this is the thing, isn't it? You know, you, you're never quite sure what size to get. This size will do a whole length of your cushion, and that's 245. And that's your YKK nylon coil zip for dresses and skirts. Now for cushions as well. So that's £2.45 there. It's all these things. Now, maybe you uh, don't like doing zips. You know, it's only recently that I've had the confidence to zoo zips. Yes, I've kind of had to. Um, but if you don't want to do zips, then look, we've got um, the natural cushion zip back. I want to just get this out and show you. Basically, the zip's been done for you. So you just get a natural colour, which is going to work with any of these bundles. And they've put the zip in there already. Hallelujah! Where's that been all my life? You know, there it is. There, so that's the zip already inserted for you. You don't have to worry at all. And it's all um, overlocked as well, so there's no fraying, nothing like that. Uh, now this is, how big is this? This uh, We've got a special size cushion pad for this one because it's sort of a rectangular one. It's 45 by 35 centimetres. Uh, that's 18 by 14 inches. It's 100% cotton. And um, as actually are all of the fabrics, I know that a lot of you have been asking, um, all of the fabrics on this hour are all 100% cotton. So if you want to grab your, your cushion back, then grab that. Um, oh, look, there's the details for it there. Um, and all of these fabrics today, 100% cotton. The um, thread that you've got is a polyester thread from Gutterman which means that it's super strong. But the really nice thing about Gutterman, I don't know if you can see the, uh, the luster on that, which is really lovely. But also you'll notice there is very, very little lint on that. So basically when you sew with that, you're not gonna bung up your sewing machine. I really notice the difference when I use a Gutterman thread because I don't get um, all of the all of the lint. Producer Paul says, less lint, more glint. I've got him in my ear for four hours with comments like that. And he gets paid for it. Amazing. 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 Uh, now, uh, what I would like to know, because we're halfway through the show, is... What are you making today? Photos of what you're making today. Um, send them in. We would love to see. This is what I've been making this week. Uh, and I've had a really lovely time doing it. Um, and thank you for all of your lovely comments on Facebook, as ever. Um, it's great to hear from you. Now, we've got another book this hour. A fabulous book. And this is the ultimate sewing 
Bible. Love, love, love this book. It is ridiculously comprehensive. Look how thick that is. $14.95. Best way to look at it, let's pop it down on here so that you can have a good... We need to go through this because I think it's only once you have a real good look through that you start to appreciate just how much is in there. Beautiful photography. So you've got your sewing basics, your basic techniques, dressmaking, advanced tailoring, and the home furnishings. This is what it's all about for me. And your care and repair. Uh, you've got a glossary, you've got all sorts in here. Let's take a little look through. Oh, they're like the scissors that we used to have. Have we still got those? Um, so basically, what's what? What's what in your sewing room? Um, a great guide to that. Very clear, very lovely. Um, and then all your different types of scissors, different pins when you need them, all of that covered. Uh, your diff even, I mean, even down to your sewing, uh, down to your ironing. And then um, it starts to take you through setting up a workspace, your sewing machine, all those different things, getting the most from your machine. Um, it, it doesn't leave anything to chance. Now, these are just examples of some different feet that you might get. Um, and it also shows you, uh, this is really, really handy. This is when a stitch is balanced. Now, sometimes you might have an issue with your tension on your sewing machine, and this shows you gives you a great guide as to which one is the problem. This is when your top thread is too loose, it'll look like that. So do your stitches look like that? Then your thread's not in balance. Um, and then if your top thread is too tight, that's what it's gonna look like. So it gives you a really, really, really clear, and then obviously how to, how to write and wrong it, how to put that right. Um, fabrics, lovely essential guide to all of your fabrics in here as well. And even, look, fabric buying tips. And, which is brilliant. Um, standard fabric widths, because that's the thing, isn't it? Very different um, fabric widths there. So what you can expect from your widths. Um, and then ways to use your patterns. And also really handy, pattern repeats. I first became aware of pattern repeats when I was doing um, curtains. And I, I basically took the measurements of my curtains to uh, the haberdashery and I like this is the size this is the fabric that I want it in how much do I need and they went through so they knew the width of the fabric so they could work that out but it had a very big pattern repeat on it um, and so they talked me through what I needed to know how much extra I needed to buy to get that pattern repeat to match so it, yeah, it's a bit like wallpapering produced for that's exactly it um, now, these are your basic techniques then through there. We start off with your hand stitching, hand stitching tips, all those sorts of things. But just look how clear it is. That's the real joy of this. Um, so all of the basics. So maybe you want to get this in conjunction um, with, the, with the new sewing kit. Then you can do that. Sewing on a button. Basic, but sewing on a button is one of those things that everybody should know how to do. Uh, and these are your hand-sewn loops and tacks. Perfect. Uh, and then we get on to uh, stitching for curtain making. Very handy. Now, this book has been fab for giving me hints, tips, all those sorts of things. You've got your clipping uh, tips in there as well. But you see, look, it shows you how to do all of these good. It's just been brilliant. This is your binding, edges, how to do your edges. Um, but then also in here, it's so comprehensive. Pressing, gathering, different feet to use, um, and also how to measure. So we, when we get on to um, onto the tailoring section, this is where you need to take your body measurements. So it talks you through exactly how to make those measurements, take those measurements, um, so that you can get the most out of your patterns. Again, how to lay out your patterns. So now we've moved into, away from the basics, but now into your dressmaking. Um, so it talks you through the basics of all your dressmaking, which is really fabulous. Um, and then just talks you um, through the basic elements of each garment. You know, it's going to have sleeves maybe, or it's going to have a body part. How to do your facings, your interfacings. It's all in there. It's so useful. Um, and then, oh, if you want to do some pleats, tuck some pleats. 
gorgeous. And then, you know, using little gadgets like this. Why would you need to use that for, for tracing out your pattern? It talks you through how to use it. Um, all these different things, which is just absolutely fab. And then, so that's your basics. Um, and then where's the advanced? Hang on. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Are we on to the advanced bit yet? It takes you then into advanced tailoring. So, I mean, this, this really does take you, here we go, this is your advanced tailoring. So, if you've worked your way through, you've picked up your tips from the basic tailoring, and then it takes you into your advanced. So, it doesn't matter what level you're at, there is something in here. So, whether you're doing your jackets and you want to tailor make them, make them look lovely, because let's face it, you go to the shop and one size fits none, doesn't it? As soon as you start to tailor, you're starting to make things look fabulous for yourself. Evening wear, those special events. If you've got kids and proms are a massive thing now, how much, how much are those dresses? Personalize, make it special, you know, embellish it. Maybe you're going to the races, you need something like that. But for me, this is what this book is all about, is your home furnishings. This is invaluable because um, I don't want to spend out an awful lot um, elsewhere. I want to be able to make my own home furnishings. I don't want to be able to see what I've got in my home in the high street. I want it absolutely the colours I want, the textures I want, and I can't always get it on the high street. So this is absolutely perfect. So it talks to you about all the different textures. You know, I've got a lot of this in my home. I've got all, all sorts, um, but I've been able to do it because of being able to, to sew. And that's the absolute joy of it. Um, so all your different um, finishes and trims, we've got a pom-pom cushion coming up later that shows you how to do that. Um, cushion tie backs. The cheapest cushion tie backs that I found the other day were about £15 for a pair of cushion tie backs. That's horrendous. Make your own. That's the cost of this book. Fourteen ninety-five. instead of buying that pair of cushion tie backs, get this and make your own. Um, but then the great thing, and where's it? Well, where is it? Tells you how to do blinds as well, uh, how to make all those blinds. So those bathroom blinds, you can make your own. Really great. And it talks you through how to measure the window. That's always something that I'm just never too sure on. Takes all of that away. How to measure the window, how to get that absolutely right, how to upholster your furniture. So whether you've got cushions like that, which are great for outdoors, if you're making out outdoor cushions, I've got a sofa, my purple sofa that I still think is new, but it's actually 17 years old, needs recovering. I'm not going to throw out that sofa because I love it. But look, I didn't know. It's all been... Um, it's all being clawed by, by Hugo, my cat, actually, down there, which is why it needs recovering. Um, and so this is going to show me how to do it. And then with your curtains, this is it. Look at this. I didn't realise that there was a technique to, to, you know, to finding the right sort of curtain for the type of window. Who knew? It's like you're an interior designer with this book. It's absolutely fab. There's how to make all your curtains. It's all in there. Save yourself time, money, get the look, the colors, the, uh, just everything that you need yourself. And then in the back, you've got your glossary and your repairs as well. So you might not be aware of how to do your different repairs. And it shows you. It's all in there. And your washing instructions as well. I could do, in fact, I might just, you know, Keep that there. 1495 IHMZ05. An email. We've had an email from Susan. Good morning, Susan. Oh, is this the start of her first make? <gasps> oh, you. Next hour is for you, Susan. Take a look at this. So, this is what Susan is making. <gasps> Yay! Oh, so you've got all of those bits ready to go. Oh, I love the eyes. You see, I always draw on the eyes, but actually that looks really nice, doesn't it? Now that is our next hour with Joe Carter. So Joe Carter's going to show us the best way to make these monkeys. I've made the monkeys two different ways. I'm on my third monkey at the moment. Joe's going to, and so I'm looking forward to hearing some top tips from Joe to know how to make, because once you start monkeying, you're going to be monkeying around all over the place. Kids love them. Uh, that's the really big thing that I can tell you about the monkeys is that the kids absolutely love them. Um, and once you've got the monkey kit, of course, you can make it out of any of your Tilda material or any other material. Now, um, this hour, what has been very, very popular is uh, the Mexican bundle that we've got. Um, and this is why. Because, should I go and have a look? 
Yeah, let's go and have a look. I want to show you everything that's in here. Uh, you are getting a huge bundle. Every home should have one. Every child going off to university should be able to repair their own things. So, you know, send them off being able to actually look after themselves, look after their clothes. You know, they're going to be on a budget when they go off to uni. So send them off so that actually they don't need to buy the new clothes. They can obviously save their money for books and probably beer. Um, for their education, that's right, for their education. But send them off with this, possibly as well with the ultimate sewing Bible, and then they're going to know how to do all their repairs. I remember um, staying with a friend at uni, and, uh, and they lived in, they kind of like had a floor that they all shared. There were four or five of them. And there was one girl on her floor who had made all of her own curtains and cushions and this, that, and the other. I remember she had it out of a beautiful sunflower fabric. And her room just really stood out because it was cozy, it was homely, um, and, and it, just, it was just really lovely. And it was kind of where everyone wanted to be because she'd made that effort. It wasn't, you know, like normal halls. It wasn't, it, it wasn't just like every other room. It really was lovely. And that's the thing, you know, if you've got this capability, then send them off and make it absolutely lovely you're getting your threads your basic black and white that's a great place to start you've got your needle threader and needles but if that's not enough with your needles get another 30 more yes um, and then you've got I love this I don't have one of these and they are really handy you basically put it around your wrist so you've always got it and then you can always just pop your pins in brilliant idea uh, you get your tape measure and then you get two different types of pins so you get your tailors pins and then you also get your berry pins as well. And you've got in here, you've got another pin cushion there. You've got a handy little pocket there, which is hiding my scissors. Yay. Um, now, got your tray, everything else. Oodles of room for your fabric um, underneath as well. It's all good. Uh, now, this hour, has been very much about the fabrics. Uh, lots of you going for the fabrics today. Um, this is the fabric a lot of you were asking me on social media about, and this is the bundle. I did promise you the bundle. 22.45. Now, um, in this bundle here, you get four half meter lengths. So you get all of that. And you're also going, oh, there's a little thread there. It's going to really annoy me. Um, and you get your thread as well, all beautifully coordinated. So that's all in there, all those different colours. Um, and that made, well, hang on. I took out, the, out of the plane was only the, the dog and the cat. So I had basically, you know, hardly anything gone out of that. Um, and then, I know the dog is, 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 is having a good look at the cat. He's ready. And this is, this is, this basically um, does sum up dogs and cats. He looks really eager to go make friends with the cat and the cat's just like, whatever, don't even bother talking to me. Bah. Not bothered, not bothered. Yeah, speak to the poor, this cat ain't listening. So cats, isn't it, so cats. Um, now, out of my half a metre, I still had oodles of fabric left from those two, so those two cushion fronts, which meant that had I been a little bit more restrained, then actually I'd have had a lot more fabric of this left as well. Now, um, when, I, when I do um, an envelope back, and I do, I love an envelope back, it's so quick and easy to do, but I always do a really big over, overlap. So look how much of an overlap. You see, you still can't see, can you? So, yeah, there. I always do a big overlap because because these cushions because these cushions are so squidgy and puffy I always like to do a, a nice big um, an, an overlap but if you didn't want to do that just grab yourself a zip and off you go oh a stock warning the ultimate sewing bible great book brilliant book it's over here I'm glad you're loving this this morning. I really rate this book. 
If everybody checks out, there are only eight of these left. It's just, a, you, you know, cracking, cracking work. Um, I remember when we had, um, we had one of our editors from our quilting magazine um, on here. And she said what she really liked about this was just how in-depth it went about even down to your tailoring. So you had your basic tailoring and then you had your in-depth tailoring as well. But then you've got the home furnishings, which you don't often see. And I have to say, I did, I did have a look at the cushions and pillows because what has always eluded me are box cushions. And this shows you how to do them. Circular cushions, park, all these sorts of things. So if you wanted to do a box cushion for a chair, then you've got that. You see, not many places will show you that. It's all in there. Really, really handy. Ooh, pleats on the back. Valances, how expensive are they? Make your own to then go with your room. But you see, I wouldn't have known how to do a pleat. So it's all, it is all in there. Brilliant. Absolutely lovely. Um, $14.95, I really, really rate it. IHMZ05. Now, the next most popular fabric bundle is this one. We, oh. Sweethearts, yeah, the Azura one. This one, Sweetheart Azura, yes. Now, this one gives you... Now, you're getting half a metre. I'm not going to throw it all. There you go. There you go. So in this bundle, you're getting all these gorgeous fabrics and your thread. Look how well that thread matches. Nice. So you've got those two in your contrasting fabric. You've got the lovely hearts and then this, which matches that color in that heart perfectly and the thread, which matches beautifully. All of those, 22.45, U0GC25. And our last bundle. Let's take a look at the last one. Oh, I wonder why producer Paul was being a little bit quiet, but he's making a collage of pictures of all of your photos that you've sent in. I can't wait to see them. <laughs> Whoop! Oh, Amy, I just dropped the... Floor manager Amy's here. Come on, Amy, come and say hello. Oh, she's gone all shy. Look, she's just going to edit... <laughs> Amy, I hate it when people say about girly throws, but that was like the worst throw ever. <laughs> it's a good job she's got other talents, isn't it? <laughs> Throwing's not one of them this morning. It's early. It's fine. You haven't limbered up, have you? That's the trouble. No. <laughs> Here we go. These are your fabrics in this one. Here we go. Uh, okay, so within... Oh, look uh, so you get this stripe. I like this stripe. I really like this stripe. Uh, you get that. You see, you could do the reverse. So you know how I had a blue dog? You could have a, you could have a cream dog on that, and you could do it the other way around. Uh, and then, you see, he could have that for his bandana, and then you can back it in that. So you can do your, your dog and your cat cushions out of this, Twenty-two forty-five, And you're going to get a lot of cushions. If you... Um, one, two... You're going to get four or five cushions out of this bundle. Four or five cushions out of the bundle, which is fab. Just add in a few zips if you want to just make it go as far as you can. HSGC 71. Oh, we've got images. What have we got? Diana, Naomi and Karen have sent us some images. So these are what they've been working on today. Oh, so Diana's done the pink cushion. Oh, I like, is that velvet? Nice. Naomi did the quilt. Ooh, is that, a t is that tumbling blocks, Naomi? Is it? Looks amazing. Are her legs sticking out to the side? That's her, that's her husband's legs. That's amazing. So he can actually levitate. Um, and Karen's done the cushion. Oh, pretty. Very pretty. You're a clever lot out there. Thanks for your messages. Yay! Uh, now, 
50 pound quarter makes. Lots of you, um, when I put my pictures up on Facebook, were saying, well, where are the templates? How do we make that dog and that cat? Out of this book, 50 fat quarter makes, 28 pence per make. Look, these were just, these were just a couple of the ideas that I loved in here. Because um, when we get, so what happens is I get sent a box of fabric and a book. And a lovely Wendy, who puts our shows together, says, there you go, Tash, find something that you love. When, of course, straight away I see a dog, don't I? That's the very first thing. I'm like, yep, got to do that. But, of course, I know that you're cat lovers as well. And as my black cat was basically sitting on everything I was making, it seemed only fair to do the dog and the cat. That felt like a fair representation of our household. Um, and then, oh, but look, you see, there's your teddy and your teddy dress. Sweet, isn't it? You've got... Um, a cute collar bib as well. Uh, so if you've got your odor coat, that's a great project for that. And again, using up those fat quarters. But please check out your baskets for these. Low in stock on uh, the Ultimate Stowing Bible. And the bundles are going as well. So please make sure that you get everything that you need. Now, 50 fat quarter makes, 13.95. I need a tea, I do need a tea cosy. It's, it's fact. Um, oh, now, you see, these are so handy because, yeah, you can put your crochet hooks in there, but actually I put my fabric marker pens in mine as well. I've got one like that. Makeup brushes, all those sorts of things. If you want something to make for a teenage niece, because, trust me, I've kind of run out of ideas, and then I thought, ah, teenage niece... She's got makeup brushes, I know, because I bought her. I bought her the brushes. Then there you go. Oh, producer Paula's got a teenage niece. Happy. Is that, is that a recent turning of becoming a teenager? Oh, last August. Oh, so she's heading, oh, she's heading into those teens. Well into the teens. Oh, now this is pretty, isn't it? Um, this is your tea party pillowcase dress. Perfect for those special occasions. My niece would look gorgeous in that if we're talking nieces. Actually, do you know what? If we're talking nieces, Elsa, if you're watching, good morning, sweetheart. Good luck with your ballet recital today. She's three. She's got her first ballet recital. Makes me want to cry just thinking about it. Bless her. Um, and little Harry, her little brother, he's, um, he's wanting to dress up in a tutu as well. Uh, so there we go. Um, this is just gorgeous. Oh, 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 chef's pot holder. That's one for you, producer Paul. You, you're a bit of a whiz in the old kitchen, aren't you? Ah, my chickens. Oh, an update on the Andrews sisters. My chickens, they're starting to lay. There's only one now. Uh, Maxine isn't laying yet, but do you know what? Um, Patricia and Laverne, they're laying daily. Good girls. Um, so I'm going to need to uh, make one of those. Oh, look at the hedgehogs. We love the hedgehogs. Yeah, they're hedgehogs. Yes, they're hedgehogs. They could be pin cushion hedgehogs. If you, if you did pins in there, yeah, you could do pins in there. You could make them into porcupines as well, couldn't you? Um, do you have a little person in your life that likes to cook along with you? There you go. You can make them their own little cushion, their own little apron. Uh, drawstring bags, put your wand in, essential, absolutely essential, clearly. <laughs> I love this book. Um, I need this in my kitchen for all those little bits and bobs. Perfect. And it shows you, you see, this is the really nice thing. It shows you the layout of your fat quarters, how to lay them out so that you get the most out of your fabric. Now, of course, if you're buying our fabric bundles today, each one of those fabric strips is a half a metre. That's two fat quarters. So there we go. Oh, that's the book, 1395, WNSP03. That's where the templates came from for these. So if you want to make these, and this could go on a bag. You know, this doesn't have to be on a cushion. This could go, once you've got that template, you can dog and cat everything. And I'm pretty sure you will. Bean bags, it could go on the dog's or cat's beds. Yeah. Now, this bundle that this came out of is the most popular. You get the blue thread in there, which matches perfectly, may I just say, um, with the solid that's in there. 
which was an absolute treat. Um, and then you've got here, and you see, and then that blue matches in with that. And then, ba -ba -ba -ba, that there, it's the finish on this. That's what makes this fabric so lovely is the finish. Now, apparently I've got some customer names. Teresa, Angela, Irene, Gwendolyn, Judy, Rosemary, Moira and Pam. Good morning to you to name but a few all going for, for fabrics and books and things today. Um, thank you for joining us. Thank you for emailing in your makes as well. So this is just, this is, well, this is what's done all of these. Um, you've sent in beautiful pictures of your makes. We've shown some of them, um, but keep them coming in because it's always gorgeous to see. Um, now, who was it that sent in the monkey make? I'm so rubbish at names. So rubbish. It was Susan, wasn't it? So Susan, next up is the hour for you because we're going to be monkeying around. Oh, yes, we are. Um, and making that Tilda monkey for you. So thank you for sending us that. We've had another Joe Carter-esque make. This is from Suzanne. <gasps> it's the unicorn. I didn't do that show. How did I, did John get the unicorn show? He must have done. That's not fair. And look at the skirt. Oh, and the skirt comes out of the 50 Fat Quarter Mates book. Oh, that's beautiful. Right, Joe Carter is up next, demystifying the monkey. And we'll take, and take a look at the, the elephant as well. So stay with us and we'll see you in just a couple of minutes. Follow us on Pinterest, search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question our friendly team are always on standby you can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433 email us at help at sewingquarter.com visit our facebook page follow us on instagram follow us on twitter at sewing quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. So I'm going to be showing you how to do a hem stitch. Now a hem stitch is just a row of small slanting stitches that are used to secure your hem. So in this case I'm pretending that this is going to be the bottom of a trouser leg. I'm first going to take my needle through the single hem. I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail before I place that back down. So then I'm going to do a double stitch. Now this is just where you sew over the same area twice, so you're creating a, a knot. So that's one, two. So that's securing my thread now. And now we can begin doing our hem stitch. So you're going to need to bring your needle in at a diagonal. So you want to pick up a few stitches from what would be the trouser leg before then going into your hem so you can make this stitch a little bit bigger and then repeating that process again at a diagonal and will be picking up a few stitches of the trouser leg and then we can pick up more of the single hem so I'm making these stitches super big so you can see what I'm doing but when you do this at home, you'd want to make these a little bit closer together. Okay, so there's my row of hem stitching. And if I just turn this over, you can see they're very small stitches on the other side. So if you're doing this in a normal thread and not a thick thread, you won't be able to see those at all. Hello 
welcome back. Now, this hour, I will be joined uh, by Joe Carter. So it's me, Natasha McCarty, and Joe Carter for this hour. And by popular demand, OK, that's why this hour has come about. So many of you have bought the monkey kit. Here it is. Um, and want some help making it. So we're going to take you through step by step. Comes with, um, here we go. So yeah, get, get, get ready. If you haven't already got your monkey, where is my monkey? Oh, here he is. He's just hanging about. You get two monkeys in the kit. They're big. They're 56 or is it 59 centimeters? Where does it say on here? 59 centimeters. Yeah, it is 59 centimeters um, long. They're brilliant. And as you can see, the little hooky hands and tail hook all over the place. Uh, and actually, then you can, you can hang the other one by its tail. It's brilliant. Now, we don't have masses of stock of this, but we know that a lot of you have brought the kit. So um, there isn't a lot of stock, but we know that lots of you have already bought this in the past. So it's partly for you, partly, um, you know, just so that you can, you can absolutely get your monkeys and get going. And actually, the joy of this is, is that once you've got the kit and you've got the template, you can make it out of your other tilde material, which is what I've been doing. Love them. So 19.95, that works out at under £10 a monkey. So if you want other tilde fabrics to do your makes with, we've bundled some of this fabulous circus range for you. Um, this is how you've loved them to be, is to have your two planes that complement. Look, look at that, those two pinks working beautifully together there. So you've got your, your two pinks and your circus, a half a metre of each, 15.45. Yeah, half a metre of tilde in there. Beautiful. Candy floss and baby pink. That's your baby pink. That's your candy floss. So you see, line it in that, whatever you're doing. Uh, gorgeous. Lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I'm really pleased that they've bundled this one like this. So this is, you've got vanilla and pistachio in this bundle but look this is your green elephants now i may i've made makeup bags out of this green and it's really lovely and it's lovely and fresh that color uh so there we go that's 15.45 for that one um and then this is your um clown flower with your teal and vintage blue in there which is really, really pretty. Again, £15.45. If you are multi-buying on these, um, things to be aware of, these have already been pre-cut, so you'll get two half-metre bundles if you're, if you're multi-buying. But also, just a little heads up, just so that you know, this one here, the teal bundle, that teal there, look how well it goes with the green. So if you wanted to buy two, that green matches in perfectly with that. Just saying, just, just so you know. Um, okay, we've also got fat quarters for you, which gives you all sorts of options. So in the fat quarters, this is your blue bundle. So basically the circus range comes in four colors. You get your green, you get your red, you get your blue and you get your teal ranges. This is the blue, beautiful fat quarters in here. There's your elephants, there's your circus print there. Um, and then that is your first kiss. That's your picnic there. And then you've got the circus flower there. All of those fat quarters in there for 19 95 We've made so much with these. We've absolutely loved it. But maybe teal is your colour. Then look, that's the one that you're getting in the big bundle. So you've got, you know, you'd have extra of that, which is lovely. Uh, there's your forget-me-not in teal. Um, and then there's your first kiss, your picnic. That was what I made the, um, the horse out of, the, the merry-go-round horse. And then on the back there, there you go, there's your circus flower. So 1995 RCGQ60. And we've got the elephant. I love the elephant. Now, this is limited stock on the elephant, but look at him. Is he not just the most gorgeous? Look at the pantaloons. I just love him. Absolutely love him. 1995. How super special is he? I'm going to take him. Yay! 
got a handful of goodies to bring over. It's like I've been shopping. <laughs> Isn't it? It's quite a haul. It's great. I've got quite a haul here, haven't I? Um, now, hello, by hello. the way. Good morning. How morning. are you? I'm very good. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you very much. Yes. Now, there's our monkey. Mm -hmm. And here's, well, this is the monkey that I made ages ago, yonks and yonks ago. He has been very well played with by my son. I love that monkey design. This, it's right about the hook hands that you can hook They in. hook onto everything. They do. You know, at Christmas time, lots of parents go into this elf on the shelf business and they hide the elf all around the house. Yes. With monkey, you can hide him every day, swinging from different things around the house. And, and you can play Where's Monkey? Where's... Excellent. Who doesn't want to play Where's Monkey? Um, and also, because his arms, it's little hand size. Yes. And I think that's why my son absolutely loved the monkey. Um, let's hang on. Let me put the elephant over there as well. So lots, lots of goodies. Now... Um, Loads of you have brought the monkey in the past. Uh, we've still got the monkey on the show for you today. This makes two monkeys. So we're looking at less than £10 a make here. Yes. You're getting half a metre of each of the two different fabrics of Tilda and everything else that you need. Yes. Where do we start? Start, well, start at the top and work down. So I'm going to start with the face. Um, I'm doing it in the other fabric choice so that you can see that you get the pair of monkeys. That, uh, and I think it's really nice that you do. Here's the fabric. If you you're making get... for two, I mean, you've got two boys. I have. So same but different. Yes. And that, that's the nice thing of it, isn't it? They can each have a monkey. I don't know if you're getting a monkey boy, I don't know. Uh, but if you were, hypothetically speaking, um, you know, then make sure that, it, you know, there's not going to be any arguments over yes. it. Don't leave it in your baskets, by the way. Please check out, like I say, we've only got a limited amount of stock on this today. But we just wanted to take you through how to make it. But I don't, instructions full in the kit, illustrations as well as the written instructions. Yes. So, but I will go through these as well because there is. I mean, I've done it before. I'm sure people sort of are aware of it now. But the Tilda technique is a little for, different. It is because I think looking at this and seeing how slim the arms are, you think, oh, that will be a nightmare to sew. And actually, the way it's done, the method that's used, means it's not that tricky at all. I've done it both ways. The method that you're about to show us, mm -hmm. and I've also done it with this one, I did cut all the limbs out because I didn't read it properly. Um, I did cut all the limbs out and sew them, pin yes. them and sew them. Um, your way is much easier. It's not my, it's til the Tilda way. The Tilda, uh, way, the Tilda, the Tilda way. way. Your way that you're going to show us today, the Tilda way, is by far the easiest. And this on the is. second monkey that I made, I did it that way so much quicker as well. Yes, it is really quick. Because with slim pieces like that, it's, it's difficult to manoeuvre it around yes. and not sort of chew the fabric a little bit when it's that. Whoop. But that's not how we do it. But anyway, I'm jumping ahead because yes. we start with the head. And the head is done in a more traditional way. Now, but, um, Susan, are you watching? That's the question. Because we've had one of the viewers who's got all of her body parts ready to go. Ready to go. Right. Okay. Um, but look what she's done with the eye, just very quick before we start. Look, look I love this idea. Look, there's the eye. Ah, and she's done they... the eye differently. Oh, it's they're... good, isn't it? Um, toy eyes, aren't they? They yeah. look great. Don't they look good? They do. Yeah. I used a fabric marker on mine, but actually I'm loving that idea. I, yeah, I really like that idea. You could use the plastic eyes or embroider them or fabric paint or fabric pen or... The, Quite a few options. But again, we're jumping ahead, aren't we? We are. I've not, I've not even got the head made yet. So the pattern pieces all come in the kit. They do. So I've cut these out, but then also for ease, I've traced around this, the face. So you have this on the pattern piece for the face. It shows your placement, but I've copied it out so that I can trace the face piece. Yes. So I have the exact size. Right, start by cutting these out. Now, the arms and legs and the body are done, the tilde technique, but the head, you have to add the seam allowance. So this, I think, pop this over here. So I've drawn around it with, I always use a water erasable, the wipe off pen. That's, my... That's your go-to pen, isn't it? We always it know. Oh, Jo's in, she's gonna need her water erasable. I always have at least two on me at all times, just One in of case. my very first memories of you was coming in and finding the big-eared bunny face down on a radiator. 
Back to the bunny, and you're like, oh, I've just washed his face. It's fine. <laughs> it's just drying. It's, it's standard in my sewing room. There'll be things laid out on the radiator. Or sort of on the washing line if, if it's a nice day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hung out by an ear or something. So for these, I've cut them out, but they need the seam allowance adding. So I drew around it using my wipe-off pen. And then when I cut it out, let, I like a quarter inch, but you can choose whichever seam allowance mm -hmm. you want. So I've added the seam allowance, but this section here that's marked, this will be turned in. So you don't need to add a seam allowance at the bottom where these two dotted lines are, mm. because this is the seam allowance that will be turned in. So, so the, the ES stands for extra seam, doesn't it? It does. And that's what it's added in there for you. So the extra seam's added there, but add your own elsewhere. Right, so I've cut the, the pieces out for the head, and then the face is appliqued on. And in the kit, you have the face fabric, but also the um, iron-on adhesive. Yes. The way that you're told to do it in the instructions is to press this on, which I did. This is not the way I normally do it. I would draw my shape out on the backing paper and then press it on. Right. But actually, just in case, See if it, if it comes away slightly. Cut it to the general size you want so I can easily get two faces out of this. And I've done an extra face as well, so you do get more. You get plenty to do I'm two gonna monkeys. I'm going to be honest with you, Joe. Out of my kit, I've had faces for three monkeys. Well, If yes. you cut cleverly, because once you start monkeying around, you're going to want to make many monkeys. You will. Um, if, you're, if you're clever about how you cut this, you can fit three of the faces. You I can. Because I have... Because this is out of this piece. I have two face pieces there that I've yes. prepped just in case. Yes. And then I will get two out of here and then I get another two there. So yeah. you would easily get three faces out, you're right. So I've pressed this on and now it says to draw your pattern piece onto the fabric. But actually, the backing paper is well fused mm. and I think you get a sharper line. So I'll leave this. I'll draw it out on the backing paper. No, I mean, the thing is, you can, well, I might have folded it in half and put two out at the same time. Well, that, that, now you say <laughs> that, that would be quicker and easier. <laughs> but this is the way I always do it. So because It's funny, isn't it? Because you get, you get your own little ways of doing things. I'm very impressed because you do have your own techniques for making your toys, which I use now when I'm making toys. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is the Joe Carter way. And, and, I, and I love that. This is the Tilda way. It is. And it's nice that you, you know, it's nice to have a go at a different way, isn't it? It is. I like the, uh, I like to try new, because often you pick up, it helps. If you try a technique you wouldn't necessarily use, it just broadens well, your skill like the limb technique. Set. Yes. I use that now. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, this is the Tilda Pardon My Garden material kit for your classic monkeys. Uh, that everything that you need is in the kit. You just need to add some stuffing. Just doesn't come with stuffing. Now, this makes a lovely gift as well. It whether does. you're making it to gift it or whether you're buying the kit to, to gift. And, of course, you get two monkeys. This is what one monkey looks like, but you'll get two. Same but different. It's a different fabric for the second one. So there'll be no arguments when this is given to, to little ones if, you know, you end up giving it away. Now, we've also got elephants for you. Well, the elephant. Um, who is dressed up for a party, ready to go? He is. I love... Him. He's 53 centimetres, he's six centimetres shorter than your monkey. Um, stock running low on both of these. I mean, how gorgeous is he? Uh, I, he has a hat, he's ready to go anytime. 1995, and we love it. Um, there you go. TNGQ45. Nicola in Oxfordshire says, Good morning, both. So lovely to see you. Please, can you show me the back of the elephant? Thank you. Your wishes are command. There we go. Producer Paul says we have the technology where well, we have me yes. with hands <laughs> that can do that. There you go. Was there any particular bit, Nicola, that you wanted to look at? Or was it just... Ba, ba, ba. Woo. Okay. I can... My lady's been a little... Oh. Little feet. Did you know, elephant fact, oh. you can tell the age of an elephant by its feet. Can you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, get in, they get more um, 
they get more patterned as they get older, more oh, kind yeah. of wrinkly as they get older. So you can you can get the estimated age of an elephant from its feet. From its feet. Brilliant. So elephants can't lie. No. No, they wouldn't want to. They're very honest <laughs> creatures. They are. They are. Yes, and they you know never forget. <laughs> right. Just to recap, in the instructions it says to remove the paper at this point and then draw out these facial pe pieces onto the fabric. Yes. I like to draw it onto the backing paper, but if you're going to do that, don't cut them out with your best fabric shears. No, have those second, those second ones, those second grade ones. Yes, because you are going through a bit of paper as well. So I, I do, I have, I have my shears for best. I do. Doesn't. So they're, they're, they're my, my best, my gorgeous best Fiskars ones. And then the ones that I bought to replace, that the Fiskars replaced are now for this sort of thing. It's, everyone has their own little, their own little scissor pyramid, I like to think of it. They do. You can call it, because they have different coloured handles, you know, you can have a good code going. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. It's all going on. Um, so just chop these out. Now you just have to add the seam allowance. If I just show you the piece that, that Joe did here. Um, this is what it's come from. Joe's traced around, but you can see added in that seam allowance because this will go down in front of that monkey there. So you need that seam allowance. But you see, that's the reason that there's no seam allowance added there because look, it, you just then, there you go. Does that make sense? It, it, you only add it at the front of the face because the raw edges um, of the applique around the sides will be left. They're the finished sides and we'll zigzag over them. Yes. Just to finish them. And actually, it was because uh, I was a little bit nervous about zigzagging that on because, you know, I hadn't done a lot of applique when I first made the monkey. I was like, oh, no, I knew that he would be coming on a show. But actually, easy, really quite easy. I was quite happy with that. And the adhesive gives it a bit of stability as well. Yes. It does. It, yes. so it does make that the zigzagging easier. So I'll peel away the backing paper. Just and. I marked on here, the, the position of the eyes marked, but I cut a hole through it. Right. Because once this is fused on before I sew them together, I'm going to mark where the eyes should be. It just makes it easier later on. Do you know what? I wish I'd done that. What a great idea. It's, but you do need to do it before you sew them. Well, it's easy before you sew them together. So there we go. We've got a face piece. There it goes. Move it down. Closest to the bottom. You see, I was I was slightly different to you. I actually cut this out and then just pieced it back in because so I have... wanted so that I could then place it where it needed to be. That's a good idea because that was that was where I was struggling. I was like, right. Mm. Oh, Susan's emailed back in. Hello, Susan. Are the monkeys bigger than it looks on TV? Do you think he is big? There he is, standing up. Woohoo! Which is amazing because TV's meant to put, you know, ten pounds on you. <laughs> He's looking very slim. Just imagine how skinny he is in real life. <laughs> there, oh look, he does have a great monkey tail. There we go. Um, so let's have photos of your monkeys that you've made. Have we had some already? Oh, Jane's messaged in. Let's have a look at Jane's. Ah, oh, there we go. That's look fair. at him. Oh, and some other Tilda makes in there as well. Oh, there's the big bottom bee, as I like to call him. I've made the bee. Yeah, you have I'm made the bee and, and the bunny. They're fab. Oh, really lovely. You see, this is it, isn't it? This is what I was saying earlier. Once you've got, once you've got these templates, you can make them out of all your favourite materials. And that's the joy of it, isn't it? You know, you've got, you get two Tilda monkeys, but then you can crack on and make more. You can. Because you're going to want to. Everybody's going to want a monkey in their lives. I think these are brilliant. Um, so the templates and everything are in the kit. 
full instructions. Um, you can see there, two and a half meters of your different tilde fabric. You get wadding for the ears. Um, you get the um, the face material, and you kind of it's kind of like a bonder web, isn't it? Basically, it is. effectively, um, and also you get the thread because there's some hand stitching there. Should you wish, there are some. Yes. Well, so you could do. do the, there's a coordinating thread for this, and you could hand stitch if you wanted to blanket stitch or hand sew that on. So it gives you, you could options. Do. It does. You can do all of that. Okay, so they're nice and even. So I'm going to press these in, in position now. I can do that. I can do that. Um, tell you what, do you want to press that? And I'll go and show them all the different fabrics that we've got. Okay. Should we do that? We'll do mm -hmm. that. Oh, look, we've got a landslide going on. I'm going to, this isn't going to look pretty. I'm going to go over here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's come over here and show you some things that look prettier than me collapsing sets everywhere. Uh, now, the elephant is selling out half the stock gone, so please make sure that if you love the elephant, um, that you grab the elephant. Just gorgeous. I love the fact that he comes in dungarees. Half of the stock gone there, 19.95, TNGQ45 there for your elephant. We love him. No two ways about it. Now, I've grabbed some fat quarters. This is what I was saying. By the time that you've got um, any of the Tilda books or any of the Tilda kits like that, you're going to want to make it more than once. And this is a great way of being able to do so. Uh, so let's have a look at the blue first. Uh, here we go. Just going to open these up. Let's have a good old look around. Um, here we go. Out. Let's move these out of the way. This is your clown flower. And then you get, this is your picnic. Love these. The detailing in these is absolutely gorgeous. That is your first kiss. And then that is your elephant your circus, and then look, oh, love, love, love this. Aren't they beautiful? So you've got two bigger prints in this one and this one. Then you've got your medium sized ones. And then you've got this one, which is just, you know, it, it just gives you that contrast. So perfect as well if you're patchworking. To get a fat quarter bundle like this works an absolute treat. That is your blue. Comes with a nice uh, ribbon as well. Now the teal, Always very popular is your teal. Let's take a look at the teal. Can I open up this one as well? Good. Um, <laughs> not even not even waiting to be told yes or no. Going straight for it. Um, there we go. Ah, oh, too late. I've opened it. Sorry. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So there's your forget me not. And then there's your circus flower, or is it is it circus flower or clown flower? I can never remember which one it is. Oh, it's not going to tell you. Okay. So look, this is this is kind of the bigger version of that. So all oh, just works an absolute treat. So let me just uh, pull that out so that you can get a good look. This is your teal bundle. Really beautiful. So you've got your ditzy in there. You've got your bigger print there, and then you've got all of those gorgeous ones there. Now maybe you want. Uh, to get your teal bundle. So this is a half a meter of each of these. These are your colorways here. So you've got a duck egg in there, uh, antique, something or another. What we got? Teal and vintage blue. I always want to call it antique, but it's not as vintage. And then of course, you've got your lovely circus rose there. 1545, that's your teal. Uh, let's go green next because it is next to hand. There we go. There. Now, in here, you are getting pistachio, vanilla, and your green circus. Half a meter of each of those. Just gorgeous. It's lovely and fresh, isn't it? Slightly different bundle there. Love it. Um, and then your pinks. So we've got candy floss, we've got baby pink, and then of course we've got the circus. All in there. There they are. 
unashamedly girly that one love it most popular one out of the bundles 1545 HEGC 85 find yourself um, a project would be my advice to you that really shows off that big print so whether it's a cushion whether it's um, uh, you know a big bag or something like that make the most of that fabric now before I go back over to Joe I just wanted to just recap over here because this is the first time to wear for this lovely bundle and maybe this is going to be a gift to someone maybe it's a gift to yourself maybe this is going to be a basket that you take to workshops things like that but it's got everything that you need in it um, so you've got all your pins needles thread you've got um, your pin cushion there another pin cushion there and it all goes beautifully 29.95 fab value for money there but it's all about monkey business this hour and monkeying around over here Jakarta hello 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 are they, all, are they all ironed on to perfection? They're pressed in place nice. and then I've popped the, bear in mind there's the seam allowance, pop that yes. on and marks where the eyes should go. Okay. Just makes it easier later on. Okay. You don't have to think, sort of reposition, maybe pop pins in. I you wish know I'd where they should be. I really wish I thought of doing that. So there we go. I've done both of those. Nice. And then next job is to sew right sides together, one on top of the other and sew along the front to join them and then yes. we'll zigzag around the applique to hold it on. Nice. And what kind of colour thread did you go with for this? Just a sort of a, a stone ecru type? Yes, that's to, to, to match the face. Although I wanted a, a slight bit of definition. Yeah. So I've gone a little bit paler. Contouring. Yes. <laughs> Monkey contouring. That's what it's all about. You can't go too far with contouring. You can't. Absolutely. <laughs> This is one of those things that um, I've, I've looked at. I'd looked at the Tilda Monkey for a while and been too nervous to do it. And th this has been the joy of sewing quarter, is that I've been pushed to do things that otherwise would sit on my shelf and, and I wouldn't have, you know, got, oh, yeah, you know, maybe I haven't got the time to do it or it's going to be harder than I think. I'm so pleased that I just sat down and did it because yes. actually it was far easier than I thought it was going to be. I think that's half... The thing, I mean, I've, I've loved it because I've tackled projects that I've really enjoyed, but it wouldn't have occurred to me mm. to do. And there's so many different branches of sewing. Um, I'm just still, I, I don't dress make, I'm still determined to give dressmaking a go at some point. At some point it will happen, won't it? And you'll be amazing at it because you've got all those skills already in place. It's decode, I think a lot of the time it's decoding patterns. It can yes. be quite intimidating. Right, I'm just going to finger press this seam open. And you know, to be honest, when you get because this is this is the um, this is the instructions that you get, you might look at that and think, oh my goodness, there's just too much there. No, it's in different languages. Yes. So don't don't panic. I did look at that and go, Whoa, it's going to take me hours. It's going to take years. No, uh, the English takes you down to there. So they they are the English instructions to there. But fear not, because you also get. Picture instructions, and now you get Joe showing us as well. So it's all covered. All it bases is. are covered. So for the zigzag around the edge of the applique, the seam, you want it open, otherwise it'll be chunky and bulky on one side as you sew over it. Um, give it a press. I've just finger-pressed it open because it's stiffened with the adhesive. That's yes. fine. Right, so I'm going to start at the bottom and just go all around with a small, quite tight zigzag stitch. This isn't my machine, so I might have a slight false start as I pick the stitch. Do you, do you want to have a quick practice on something first, or are you all right? I'm going to go for it. Right, so. Bold. Bold and a pro, that's what we like. Honestly, you should see the number of scraps of fabric that I practiced on to get it nice and close, nice and short, nice and narrow, and then off I went. Um, if, um, like me, you're, when you actually sewed it together, Ridiculous, all of that planning, and then I just missed ever so slightly um, the, the two end, the, the top of the face where the face comes together. Oh, just no. missed it. Slightly longer zigzag stitched, covered that up a treat. <laughs> no one knew, no one's ever going to know. Uh, these, these little cheats that you can do if, if it, things aren't quite precise. Now, we've got, whilst you zigzag your way around there, um, we've got some other. Fabulous books because once you start making your Tilda makes, you're going to want to make loads. So, this is Crafting Tilda's Friends. 
And I think that this is a great place to start. For $7.95, grab yourself a bundle of fabric and get crafting. Um, you get your crafty cats. Love those. Um, make yourself some friends. And it shows you how to mount them as well if you want them on display, uh, not just for sort of cuddly toys. You've got kind of your scarecrows going on there. Um, you can make your own flowers if you're like me and you just manage to kill everything in your garden. Then make, make your own flowers instead. Far easier. This is your big bottom bee. Love the big bottom bee. Um, your bumblebees. He's not actually called a big bottom bee. That's just what I call him. Um, so, you know, decorate. Maybe it's your conservatory that you're decorating. I really want to make that frog. Really want to make that frog. I love that frog. And then you've got all of the dragonflies to go with him. Look at the dragonfly and frog wreath. But then you've also got, there's the snail. I love the snail and I love all the, uh, the added extras. So I've started to do this with one of my snails, is make some, some pin cushions to put on, put on top of him there. And then she's mounted him on a piece of driftwood and added in a little cart. And I thought you could probably make that cart out of lollipop sticks and a bit of glue. Uh, but lots of different options in there, lots of different makes. Whimsy cats. Oh, and then you get the bunnies. We've made the bunnies on the show before, and they're just fab. Forget Easter. That bunny is for all year round. There you go. And then you've got your cushions. So you can applique them on. You don't have to make, like, the full 3D thing. And off you go. So it's an all-around lovely craft book with all of the templates and patterns in the back. There's your frog. That just shows you that frog is sizable. I hadn't realised how big the frog is, actually. He's a big old frog. $7.95 for that. ODGQ42. And then the other one is your crafting springtime gifts. Love this. This has got the hair and, um, and the bunnies in. And you've got your chicken in this one as well. $7.95 again for this. Excellent value for money. So how to make a good stuffed figure. There you go. Bunnies in there. And, uh, where's the, ah, oh, oh, there's the hair. They're just, they're just really gorgeous. Um, there, there, oh, there's your chicken. Uh, oh, and look, look at the dungaree, a chicken in dungarees. Joe, does it get much better than a chicken in dungarees? Oh, look, there's the goose. Did you make the goose with us? I love the goose. Yeah, I love the goose. Um, it's, it's all in there. Um, and also you've got bags and all sorts in there, $7.95, um, N-O-G-Q-75. Let's have a look, we've got an image been sent, oh look, this is from Therese, That's look, oh lovely, all tools of fabrics, you see how different it looks in the spots, I chicken pot monkey, <laughs> it looks fun. I love him, I love how curly the tail is, yeah. I think that's my favourite piece on it. Because then it can just hang, and you can, can hang them from each other, which is really yes. nice. And they can monkey around. Yeah. Now, you've zigzagged. I've zigzagged. Very neatly, I have to say. Nice. If, you've got, if your machine has a needle down function, and you're finding it difficult to get around the curves, mm. just pause with the needle down, preferably on the outside of the applique, and just lift the presser foot and just pivot it round. Take it a few st stitches at a time, if, because it is quite a focal point. Yeah. Um, just take time. Just carefully follow the curve. Ooh, now the back of the head. The back of the head. I've stitched this one together along the, along the front, so I'll do the same with the back of the head. And each of the, the limbs and the tail and the head and the body, they're made as separate units and then joined together. Yes, they are. Just yeah, that's sure. the joining together is the very last bit isn't it and then it's it and that's is. hand stitched which is why you've got as well needle and thread this is the lovely thing if you are gifting this to someone all you need to add is just your stuffing that's it everything else is in there isn't it even down it to is. the needle to sew it with it's all there so um for 19.95 two monkeys instructions the pattern everything um oh good morning uh no, that's nicola in oxford you've seen that message no, I've, apparently I should be having names of it. Ah, oh, here we go. So, good morning to Christine, Carol, well, Rosemary, um, Carol in Devon, Patricia, Carol in Leicestershire, Sandy, Margaret, Helen, Gillian, uh, Bev, Olivia, who else have we got? Linda, Stephanie, 
Maureen, Margaret, Pauline, all buying the monkey. Well done. Good for you. Monkey and around. There's going to be lots of monkey and around. Lots of monkey business. Now, when I, he's got the same blusher as me on, and I, I did him just with my own blusher. But if you are giving this to a child, with the one that I made for Freddie, I just got a fabric marker yes. and just sort of cross-hatched his cheeks on. Mm -hmm. That worked. Yeah, I think, um, I mean, you could even embroider little pink circles, couldn't you? Oh, you just could. like a running stitch outline, I think. Like Aunt cute. Sally. Yes. Yes. The Aunt Sally monkey. You see, the thing is, is that most of the crew won't know who that is because they're far younger. Yeah. As I put my blush on, I always think, don't go the full Aunt Sally. Yeah, yeah. Doing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, in unison, uh, award-winning director Mike and producer Paul, who's Aunt oh, Sally? No. <laughs> Where's all gummage? Do you not remember... Where's all gummage? And Aunt Sally had like awful makeup. Yes. With just like two round. I don't know if they did it with lipstick or quite how they did I, it. I, I would go with lipstick. It was a full. It was a, like it, a full circle of red. You know, I mean, we have to wear a lot of makeup for TV, but I mean, that just takes us <laughs> a step further. <laughs> right. Now, next bit to complete the head. Join the back of the head and the front together and sew around sort of the outside. Are, the, are they right sides together? They're right sides together. Right. When I do this, I always join them at the top so that they line up and stitch one side at a time. I just find it easier. Do you know I did that? I did heard you? you in my head going, this is the way to do it. <laughs> and so I did. How did you find it? Uh, yeah, no, brilliant, actually, <laughs> because it was, it, there was less of, a, less of a gap. Do you know what else I did on Freddy's Monkey? What? And that was actually, I put the ears, I attached the ears in and sewed them into the seam allowance. It, it's an option. It's it not is. what it says in the instructions, but that's what I did because I knew that those ears would be, you know, swung around. I was thinking about you when you said that you like to attach the heads of your toys. I sewing. do. I was like, yeah, do you know what? I might just do that with the ears because they're a swingable thing. What a swingable thing. It is. Anything it is. But it once needs to be robust, doesn't it? Yeah, once you've made it a couple of times, you're going to find your own little ways of doing things, aren't you? They still look fab. There's really no right or wrong way of doing it. It's just finding the technique or the method that yes. suits, suits you. Now, do we, where do we leave a hole for stuffing? In the bottom of right. the neck. And then there's a seam, the extra seam at the bottom we add. That gets folded in. Um, and then the head is joined onto the body by hand. It's a good monkey. You see, retrospectively, I wished I'd stuffed this head a little bit more fully because his head is a little bit... You see, his, his head will flop forward or flop back. And so I wish I'd just put a little bit more stuffing in there. And that's just, that's just you know, preference. Um, but he is, I mean, he just... Just gonna hang around today. There he is. Just relaxing, hanging around. So I mean, he can well he can hang anywhere. He can hang over here. Oh where else can we hang him? Well he could yeah. We've got all sorts of places to hang him today. Uh, oh look, hang on. Here we go. Hey, hey! <laughs> now, monkey, that hand. Nothing inappropriate, it's live TV. Uh, there we go. Oh, look at them, they look gorgeous. You're going to have a, a whole collection going on. Oh, we love them. Uh, now, we've had a message, let's see. Jane in South Yorkshire said, I would uh, make a little girl's dress out of the pink elephant with a plain pink on top, that would show the fabric off. Yes, we it were was. saying earlier. Um, and it's this fabric that Jane's talking about. It's this one. That would be so pretty, wouldn't it, as a it little would. girl's dress? And because out of the bundle you're getting two pinks. Yeah. Just have this in the sort of focal areas, the real. Well, that, I mean, that's why I, I made one of these, because then you can, I, I always want to see it. Yes, and there's so much to see in that print in yeah. particular as well. I mean, you see, then at the front, 
So there's, there's, hang on, let me just cover that so I'm not giving away any, any, anyone's email address or anything. But you see then at the front, I've, I've got a little monkey on the elephant just at the front. It's, you know, it's, and it's just such a beautiful fabric. There's a little squirrel on the elephant's head as well. Oh, it, the more you see, the more you look into it. And then you've got a bird of prey, you've got a child swinging from the, uh, from the tree and then a cat swinging from the other side trying to get that bird. It's all going on on there. I love this fabric. Um, I think that is an excellent idea because you do, you need, you need a big project. I've just turned off that. Um, so yes, we agree with you completely on that. Please check out your baskets. Don't miss out on any of these this hour. Um, stock running very low for, for all of this. So um, Pardon My Garden Monkeys, 1995. Pardon My Garden was one of my favourite Tilda fabric ranges. And just really well named. What, yeah. what a great name. Yeah, yeah. If, if nothing else, just for the name, Pardon My Garden. <laughs> now we're snipping. I've just made some V-shaped notches in the seam allowance, taking care to avoid the stitching, yes. just to make that curve a little smoother on the outside, remove some of the bulk. And also it does say clip here at the turn for the seam allowance mm -hmm. at the bottom. So I've made little clips on either side and then I'll turn the head out the right way. And through he goes. It's, it's quite a little size, isn't it, to get that, to get the, the face through, but it's very doable. It is. There he is. So there's the face. And then this extra bit at the bottom will be turned in. That was marked on the pattern as ES, your extra the ES, seam. Yes, that goes, goes inside. And at this point, I'd stuff the head, and put that to one side and then do the Would body. you like me to stuff? I, Do could, you want stuff? I could discreetly stuff if you would like. Thanks. Um, Give me a shout um, if you need more. Would you support if we got stuffing? Did we put any? I think we did, didn't we? Did we not? Oh. Uh, check out the website for your stuffing because we've got that on there. Would you yes, like the you, get, you even get your flower stick, don't you? Which you can then use um, to mount some of your other Tilda toys, I discovered. Oh, of course. Yes. I, I use them, I have them in my sewing kit now to stuff. Oh, I no, well, me too. And to, and to help turn things when I've yes. lost my bodkin or, you know, or it's in another room and I can't bother to go and walk um, and get it. Now, um, Poppy's emailed in. Oh, Poppy Lynn. Oh, that's a pretty name, isn't that it? Is Poppy pretty Lynn. Pretty she loves Tilda. Girl, lady of taste. Uh, the monkey is in her Tilda toy box. She's currently making gifts for her grandsons. And she's made the Good Witch, um, oh, from the springtime book. Nice. Nice. Oh, this is the Good Witch. That's oh, fab. look at that. Excellent. Oh, I love it. Brilliant. Where? What? We were trying to decide what sort of feel these had. Because, um, is it New Settled America? Is it that sort of feel? I don't know. They what do, is it? The, do you really, know what I mean? It's yes. not Amish, is it? You, um, it's I a really know. distinctive style, though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't know what it is. If you know, can you uh, settle a dispute? Because we're not too sure. Mm -hmm. Because it's, I know, I know that Tilda is Norwegian. But is, is that where all these ideas come from? I don't know. I don't know. Producer Paul says they wear funky hats. They so do. So it could be that. I don't know. If you know, let us know. Because, you know, every day's a learning day. It is. Every day's a school day. Oh, now, yes, fabric. Right, this is how. I have already put them here. Made some... Here are some limbs it? you made earlier. A tail, two arms and a leg. Right. And this, these are made with the Tilda technique. So cut the pattern piece out, draw around it. These look like antennae. I do, don't they? <laughs> the fabric, I folded the fabric over, I pressed it first, folded it over, over, and then draw around the piece. Yeah. I've made little marks, because this is where the opening, the turning opening will be. So yes. I've just put, I don't know whether they're visible, but little marks on the fabric. And then stitch around. I've, I've done this one already. I've started at one end of the opening, stitched all the way round, round the curve, following the line, and finished oh, there at the other mark. And then I'm going to cut this out. And doing it like this, you're working with 
a bigger piece of fabric so it's easier to maneuver around if well, it was just it, it would be difficult you'd worry it would get a little bit chewed because it's such a small piece if it's cut out to size already so i've done that one and it's the same with the body so i've drawn around it i'll sew around here now okay and these sections here these will form the boxed corners at the bottom of the body so i'm going to sew from here all the way around mm -hmm. leave this open but then just make a little just stitch a little bit either side it marks side. it doesn't it it does it does mark it as to where you stitch but it's literally it's like half a centimeter it is. just to give you that grab to box out um at the moment we can guarantee your order but stock is getting incredibly low so how long i can say that for i don't know with my fingers in his head i'm putting in the brains there he is his ears as well, we haven't looked at his ears. We've got less than 10 minutes. Right. That looks weird, doesn't it? This, this is, a, I haven't quite got used to this with toy making, is how strange they look part made. Yes. When you just, you know, when you just have like a random, looks like a candy cane. It's, and if you have a few piled up, it, it does seem to have a sort of sinister look yes. when they're stacked up on It's your like in desk. Toy Story where it he is. just has all the little bits and then, you know, puts different bits and pieces together. Um, your tail has an extra curl in it. There's your extra curly tail. It's like a piggy with tail, isn't it? Um, but that means that, he, you know, you can, you can hook. And that's the joy of it. He's going to hook. We love him. We heart him lots. Um, so, thank you very much for your messages, by the way. Uh, thank you for getting in touch. Please make sure you check out your baskets again. Whether you're buying the fabric bundles, whether you're buying the toys today. Um, oh, Rachel sent in a picture of her monkey. Look at this. Oh, look. I like him with a little tag. Was That's that a birthday so monkey? Lovely. Great present. You see that? It's just it. Tag them up. Off they go. That looks brilliant. Tag them up. Makes it sound like it's an Asbo monkey, doesn't it? <laughs> Make sure it's, you know, not out at night. Now, I, um, I don't know how you feel about this, but I'm going to ask the question. Go on. Um, when I cut mine out, because obviously for me, speed and time is of the essence. Um, I cut mine out with pinking shears. It's good. It's a good idea to cut them out with pinkies. Because then it just it takes out a bit of the bulk, doesn't it? It does. Because that's what you spend so much time. I mean, you you beautifully trim, 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 snip, snip, snip around the head. But I just thought actually, and it just came to us like, why am I not just pinking these out? Yes. So now I do. Six minutes. How are we doing for six minutes? Right. I'll just concentrate on the body. I'll talk about the leg a little bit. Um. Trim them out with your preferred seam allowance mm -hmm. because it's already stitched. You don't have to worry if you take a bit more here and there. That's okay, the I'll joy, isn't that it? Out. The pressure's kind of off because it it's already stitched. It's already stitched. And with the lines there, you're really keeping to the true shape of, of the you know, designs yes. in the first place. Yes, which is why. And this is it. You know, every time we've, we've had a photo come through with the monkeys and thank you for sending them all in they all look there's no mistaking is that they are all very much children monkeys they are and that's the joy you know you that is the absolute joy yeah producer paul says you know it sounds sim silly but they are all similar but that but that's because the kit's easy to follow it is they are easy makes we love with the body i've stitched around here leaving this corner open Stitched a tiny bit there, and then we want to pull this apart like that. Press the finger, press the seams open on either side and line them up. This was the part that took me the longest to work out, only because I wasn't used to boxing bags and things like that. If you've boxed a bag, you'll recognize then you'll know this straight exactly away. what to do. But I hadn't at this point. The monkey was the second thing I ever made for sewing quarter. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, I made the snail first and then the monkey. So I'll stitch across here and then I'll show in comparison to the one that's not, not done yet. But you see, that's, and that's the thing, you know, as someone who had, so this was the second toy I ever made. And, and that was without having any help from anyone, still did it. 
Well, he, proof, he's there. You know, that's, that's the joy of it. So if you're a beginner toy maker, lovely kit. My it aunts is. used to buy me kits for, um, for birthdays. Oh, I still love a kit. Yeah. Now, so we've got one box bottom. So that corner's done. This one's not been stitched across yet. So yeah. I'll pull that apart. Again, finger press the seams open, line them up. And like this one, so straight across. And then you get this sort of boxing. This, it adds that extra dimension at the bottom. Oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me. <laughs> they are very like hooky. They are very hooky. Um, uh, like a mobile. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's what it happens. That's how it does it. It boxes out that base, which means he can sit. Uh, and that's, that's all that, that that has done. There. And we still have the opening in the bottom to turn it, when they're both done, turn it out the right way, stuff, and then close the bottom. And that's the body section done. Yes. And then you can sew the head around the top of it and sew the head on. The now, ears. What I found with the body is that actually the head will, the head will slot on top. Yes, it should fit on nicely because it's sort of rounded the top of the... Uh... Yeah, and this, because this, this bit here will be nicely domed to fit into that gap there so that's that will be stuffed and that will fit in there and then you just sew around where that extra seam was tucked under love it uh now oh the elephant is also available um let's check the stock on the elephant i love the elephant i love the elephant I, I don't know what I love most, whether it's the ruffle or his pantaloons. Were the pantaloons easy to make, Joe? They were. Well, cut out that leg. The instructions were really thorough, walked you through nice and easy, easily. And yes, they were, they were easy to make. Awesome. Nine left. Only nine left. <gasps> ah, but he's so gorgeous. Now, monkey is still available just... But we're just going to check how many of you have got them in your baskets. And so if everybody checks out how many of them we've got available, very busy on today's monkey show. This is 14 left of the monkey. Oh, then only gone. 14 left. Yeah, only 14 left. And then we've got a minute left with you. OK, this is the limb. Before you turn it the right way out and the flower stick is vital, we've left the opening so it can be turned the right way out. Clip into this internal corner here. Just clip the seam allowance. V-shaped notches around the curves because they're quite tight. Turn them the right way out and then stuff. And the flower stick helps to stuff as well. Yeah. The and ear. it's slip stitch. Yes. The hole. Um, the ear is done slightly differently because you've got wadding, haven't you, with the ear? You have. So to give the ear a little bit of body, this one's done already. So you have the extra seam allowance that gets folded inside, give it a little press. And when you, I stitch this closed oh, before did you? joining it. And then I'll also add little, two little tucks just to shape the right. ear and then stitch it to the head. But the ear, same as before, but you want to put the, so it's a double layer of fabric, make sure I have it the right way around. Double layer of fabric, again, right sides together. Mm -hmm. Draw around the ear and stitch so that you have all three layers, so the two layers of fabric and the wadding behind. Oh, I cut it out. I couldn't work it out. Of course, that's how you do it. Stitch around there. Leave this end open. Yes. So if I turn this one out, you'll see. Yes, yes, of course. You're so right. I've, I've clipped as well V-shaped notches. So on one side, we have the wadding for the bit of mm -hmm. depth. And then the other side. Nice. It's the fabric. So we have the two layers of fabric and the wadding. So it's, it's that sandwich that I can never remember, but of course the wadding has to go on one side. It looks it does. wrong, doesn't it? Your two fabric face sides, uh, good sides together, right sides together, and then your wadding just pop on one or the other sides. And that's how you do the ears. It gives it that little bit of body. Yeah. It makes them sort of softer and cuddlier. So then when you've got that extra seam, tuck that under, because this is going to go, if I may... That then just gets hand stitched onto the side of the head there at your at your preference yes. wherever you want it if you want droopy ears or if you want perky ears 
Droopy, perky. Then it gives them the character, isn't it? So it 1995. Joe, we're all out of time over here. Um, thank you. Thank so you so much. You're going to be back with a Dresden plate pom pom boho cushion. I am. Does that describe about every that inch of it? That covers it. Yeah. It does. Done. Thank you so Thank much. You. Um, I hope that's helped you with the monkeys. So many of you asking for, for help with that, so done it. Um, if you want your monkey, then please check out your basket. Don't miss out. 19.95 for that. Uh, same price as your elephant, so whichever one you want. Uh, but your monkey, of course, you get two in that kit. Oh, it's just lovely. But of course, once you've got the tilde um, making bug, then you're going to want extra fabric so that you can make more. And that's what we've seen this show from all your lovely emails and your pictures. Thank you ever so much for sending those in. Um, here are your fat quarters over here. This is your blue fat quarter circus range. So a fat quarter in each of these five different fabric designs. Absolutely gorgeous. So whether you're going to make your monkeys out of this, whether you're going to make, well, look, I mean, this is, this is the outfit that the elephant's wearing. So if you've got this, then you've got an extra set that you can do another monk, uh, another elephant out of. And then you've got your teal over here. So this is your teal. Again, 19.95 um, for your teal fat quarters. Um, really gorgeous. We're running out of time. Um, if you want the fabric bundles with your teal, please check out the website because we are out of time. But please make sure that you've got all of these. Next up, it's all about cloth kits. Yes, I've made a jacket. And it was easy. Fabulous. See you in just one moment. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides, which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple program guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. So today we're going to be learning the prick stitch. Now the prick stitch is very similar to a back stitch and they're basically very tiny stitches which are visible on the front of the fabric uh, and very long stitches on the back. So first of all you need to start with the needle at the wrong side of the fabric coming through to the front and like I said it's very similar to the back stitch where you're going to go backwards rather than forwards and you want to make this stitch as tiny as possible so taking a couple of um, strands from the fabric itself. And then the length of your prick stitch could be entirely up to you. So I'm going to make it quite a large one so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going through the fabric and then I'm going to come back again, taking a couple of strands from the fabric to come down. You want to keep these as even as possible as you're going across the line. So there we have our prick stitch. Join us on Wednesday the 28th of June when Angie Atwood will demonstrate some tools and techniques that will revolutionise the way you quilt. These amazing templates by Westerly let you create accurate free motion quilting designs and come highly recommended by our experts. Available in several sizes to fit a range of sewing machines, they'll help you create professional looking projects in no time. Angie will show some of the amazing things you can achieve with these handy tools and will demonstrate an array of tips and tricks on all things quilting. So join us for Quilter's Tool Time, Wednesday the 28th of June at 8am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78.
welcome back. Uh, now this hour it's all about cloth kit kits. Um, I don't know if you've heard of this company. Certainly for me, I, I grew up in Sussex and on Lewis High Street, um, just down from where I went to school, there was the cloth kit shop. And, uh, and so loads of us in our area had cloth kits and that was the thing. You would buy the kit and then, you know, grandparents or parents or whatever would stitch the clothes together for you and you'd have a lovely outfit. Um, I, and then they sort of disappeared. And I don't know where they've been, but they are back with a vengeance with gorgeous, gorgeous designs. Some a little bit retro, some just uber fun, um, but they are always distinctively cloth kits. And that's the absolute joy of it. Now, before we get into cloth kits, I do just need to give you a little reminder um, of our fabulous bundle that we've got for you today, um, which is a sewing basket bundle, which is excellent. I think everybody should have one. So so it's the Mexican, I think because of the gorgeous colours in there, and every time we say Mexican, producer Paul goes, arriba. Uh, $29.95, you've got your scissors, your tape measure, two different types of pins, you've got needles, you've got thread, you've got a threader, you've got two different pin cushions in there, um, and that is all in your gorgeous sewing basket. $29.95, excellent value for money, I think we all agree there. Um, now, I mentioned cloth kits. Um, we've got various different designs for you. Now, anybody that follows me on social media will know that I was given a challenge. Wendy, who puts our shows together, said, Tash, I've got a jacket for you. Absolute, absolute panic because I've never made a jacket. Um, but actually, we've got two different versions for you. Let's start with one I didn't make. Let's go with this one. This is the farmyard one. Um, Janice made this. Now, these are padded. These are super warm. I have to say, um, really, really gorgeous. How much fun is that? Now, these come sizes um, one to six, aged one to six. This is, if this is, I think this is the same as the one that I did. This is um, your full size. This is your six-year-old size. And it is just gorgeous. And you can see, I love the little toggles. So you've got your toggles on there. You've got pockets in there. Oh, hello, Pocket. With these kits, you get little animals as well. You get the little farmyard animals that you can make up. So there's your little piggy pig pig um, that you can just pop in the pockets. Um, I don't know if this one, sorry. Oh, there you go. This is what's in the kit. So in the kit, you get the wadding, you get everything. Well, it's just, it's joyous. The whole thing is just absolutely gorgeous. So that's one. We run through everything. Uh, then I made one. Yeah, yeah, I, I would, I'd love to wear it. However, it's a little bit small for me. Um, this is your woodland. And a lot of you going, I love the design, I love it. But look, you see, you've got, you've even got pockets on the side. Now these pockets, I can tell you, are all wadded and lined. Look, fully lined, all wadded. You've got, there's even an extra pocket if you wanted to that you can pop on the inside. And again, this comes with the animal. Oh, hang on, let me get the animals. The animals are still in the pocket. I've still got to stitch up the animals. Let me show you all the animals that this comes with. So when you get, you get a great big sheet. So you get a little mole. And this is what I love about cloth kits. The wadding that you've got left over, you just use to stuff. You've got a, a beaver. But there's my pin in ready to sew the base, slip stitch the base. There's your beaver. Uh, and then you've got a fox on there. And then you've got your little squirrel there. So these, and so then you can, you know, you make the jacket for your little one. And then you just, and then you just pop them in the little pockets. And it's all in a kit form. So every time they put their hands, their little hands in the pocket, they get a little treat. They get a little critter. Bing, Mr. Fox holding in there. So <laughs> it's just really sweet. So you're getting four little toys and the jacket. I love it. It's just, it was so much fun to make. And I did it. Me, me who doesn't dress make. Certainly not with binding. Did it. But I was so pleased with myself. Um, there we go. So that is your woodland option. You get your wadding, you even get your little toggles. Oh, I forgot to sew the toggles on. Oh no. I've done the loopholes for it, but I forgot to actually sew the toggles on. Oh, I'm rubbish. Um, $34.95 for that, and it's super warm. And then one more option. 
I'm expecting to uh, have to make this at some point. But the other option is, um, it's a mulberry one, isn't it? Here we go. This is your last option there. So one for the girls there if you want. So $34.95, but they're just adorable. Look at that. You've got horses, lambs, sheep, everything that a, a little one will need. And it's, it's super fun to make. Really did enjoy making this. And you know what else did occur to me? Um, this is fully lined. Fully lined in there. And because it's bound, you see, look, they're the, they're the little things for the toggles. I just forgot to put that on there. Um, but it's basically the lining and the jacket both made the same way. That's exactly how the cloth kit's reversible jacket, you know that beautiful reversible boxy jacket? It's made in exactly the same way. So now that I know I can make that, I can make the other. It suddenly dawned on me. It's like, ah, there we go. Scale it up, adult size. And uh, now we've got trousers. Can I open these? Yeah, good. Um, first thing that you'll notice when you get your cloth kit's kit is, look, the ribbon that it's all tied up. Look, isn't this gorgeous? You've got inches. It's just, it's just lovely. It's that little attention to detail. Really gorgeous. Just born to use it as a belt. Um, now, ages one, two, and three on these. Oh, for the three, oh, we want to use it for the three-year-old. Is it not going to hold you? <laughs> oh, I've got it all wrong. Here we go. These are your giraffes. So these are how your cloth kits come. And if this is your introduction into dressmaking, then it's just, it's just fab. Um, because you don't have to worry at all um, about how to put the patterns on or anything like that. It's all done for you. So it's, it's, it's printed on there, and then you just, um, it will show you in the instructions. Oh, no, in fact, it says over here. So even if you lose the instructions, you're still okay. It, you've got a key. So, oh, there we go. Let me show you here. So to fit. And it shows you the waist, hip. An elastic length because you get the elastic and everything in there if you're making it for a one-year-old then you cut that line if you're making for a two-year-old you cut that line and if you're making the biggest si uh, size then you cut that now in terms of wastage very very little I mean like very little because you can see um, you've got this is your waistband along here and then you've got um, yeah, so that's, you've got your ties for the front there. And then you see, look, you've got, you, you even get there. So you can, make, you can make your giraffe purse somewhere to stash your goodies. So you've always got that little bit extra. Look over here, you've got, this is your pocket. No giraffes harmed in the making of this. Unlike the, can I, do, hang on, hang on, hang on. Producer Paul, did I tell you our giraffe story? I think now would be appropriate. So um, the school that my son goes to is, is in, a, is in a, a, a village hall, basically. And, uh, and so they had to shut for the election. So my husband took the day off and took him to a safari park. So they're driving around having a lovely time. And at this particular safari park, you can buy food to feed the giraffes and things from your car. So... Freddie, my three-year-old, gets the packet. Of course, Daddy doesn't get a look in at all in this packet of feed. Didn't read the instructions on the back of the food packet that says only open your window that far. They have the window the whole way open. Freddie's there feeding the giraffes out of his hand, throws the food all over his lap. The next thing you know, there's an entire giraffe head in the car uh, licking this food up off Freddie's lap. <laughs> then tried to get his head back out of the car and got it stuck, this little stuck by the side of the door so we had a giraffe stuck in the door and uh <laughs> and uh and uh yeah so we've now got to uh, get the car mended brilliant the giraffe wasn't harmed in any way shape or form but yeah 
We did. So Freddie went to school the next day saying that um, we got a giraffe stuck in the car. Excellent. Um, there we go. So uh, these are your giraffes. These are, and once you've made these, if you are just starting into your dressmaking, this is a perfect way to get going. And it's really soft. It's kind of a corded material, these. Now, the next one up is oh, the sunflower. Can I open this one up as well? Yeah. So, oh, hang on. I've got a stray beaver. Go back over there, beaver. It's all going on, the wildlife. Ooh, look, you get, I love orange and pink. A burnt orange and pink is just gorgeous. Look at these. Oh, you're not going to lose anyone wearing this, are you? Wow, look at this for a colour. Awesome. So again, you know, every inch has been used here. Isn't that fab? Um, you've also got your thread. So that comes with it. Um, you've got your beautiful buttons as well. And if you want to put the little cloth kit tabs, you've got so much thread, so much thread. Um, it's just lovely. Now, this is your shift dress. In fact, let me open up and show you, talk you through the, um, the instructions on these. Because these are... I was, I was really nervous, and I, I have to say, you know, when Wendy said to me, oh, you're going to make, you're going to make a, a jacket, um, Wendy puts our shows together. So she said, you know, Tasha, I'd really like you to make this jacket. I was like, Wendy, you know, I, I, you know, that's a bit much for me. She's like, no, 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 trust me, trust me, you're going to be able to do it. So I was like, okay. Um, and actually, really pleased I did, because... It just goes to show if I can do it, you can do it really, really easy. Um, so making your dress, cut everything out. And then you just have to, you know, iron your bits and sew them. That's absolutely fine. It shows you here you've got the key for the right side, the wrong side, and your lining. So you see this is your lining here. That's a bit bright, isn't it? It's fab. So you see, you then use these cut out pieces that you cut out there. You then lay those on the lining and you use that as your pattern piece to then cut out the lining. So it's super easy. But as you can see here, even the pocket is lined. And that's what I love about here. Nothing is skimped. Everything is lined. Each of the pockets on the jackets, fully wadded, fully lined. It's fab, absolutely fab. Um, so that's your dress. We love that. Now, talking of dresses, if you are obviously a more experienced sewer, it's lovely bright pink, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Um, now, if you want to make your own dresses out of your own coloured fabrics, then we've got these here. So let's give you the details for both of these because it's just a difference in sizes. So if you want pattern sizes 7, 8, 10, 12 to 14, which is this one, then go for that, 7.95. And they're the different variations of that dress. If you want the smaller size, then go for this one. But again, you've got a maxi dress in there. You've got little party tea dresses, beach wear. It's uber cute. 7.95 there, YTBR79. And you can get making for your little ones. So we picked some fabrics that we thought would be really handy. Have a look at those for you. Now these are all by the half meter. So, oh, you know that red cord? <laughs> Shedding everywhere. This is your spot on pink. So, cheeky pink. Hey. Uh, so, by the half metre. So, when you get it, how much have we got here? This is a metre. So, you'd put two in your quantities box when you buy off the website. And, of course, don't forget, one lot of PMP per day. So, however much you're buying, doesn't matter. You'll only pay 2 95 You can check out your basket as many times as you like. We'll only ever charge you one PMP per day. Always worth knowing so you don't miss out on your favourite bargains. Um, here we go. This is your spot-on cheeky pink. 
Just a lovely classic pink there, gentle pink, 495, LBMY 95. But you can see a beautiful drape there for your um, for your making of whatever you wish. Producer Paul, you know where on the website we've got pictures of these patterns? Has it got the sizings on the back? Can we see those on the website? Or do I need to say if anybody wants to know the amount of fabric, message us in and we'll let you know. What do you think? We'll have a look. We'll have a look. We'll see what we can do. I've got the ivory next. And again, bits of that. I think every staff should have this anyway. Whether you're dressmaking, quilting, whatever you're doing, I think everyone should have. 325 by a half meter. You can, this is a really handy one, um, your ivory because then you can, you can use this in your sashings and your quilts. You can use this to just give a bit of relief. You can use this for your, you can use this everywhere. This is just an all round should have in your stash. 325 KTMY 35, a really useful neutral to have. As is the next, which is the gray. Um, now, the gray, grays are just great colors, aren't they? So on trend at the moment. And this gray here is called Glacier. This is your Glacier. It's kind of an icy gray, quite a light one. This would work well with the slate as well. Actually, no, this is gonna work beautifully with that pink. Look at the pink and the gray together. It's a, always a winning combo, isn't it? I like that. 325 for your Glacier, Glacier, however you wish to pronounce it. Oh, okay, yeah, good. So on the website, you can zoom in on, on, the, on the dresses to see the amount of fabric that you're gonna need. So if you've seen uh, the fabrics that you want, uh, then you'll know exactly how much you need to buy. Now, maybe you wanna go summer yellow. Then we've got this for you as well. Again, by the half meter. Oh, that fluff is getting everywhere. This is called, what's this one called? Maze. Oh, as in, as in corn type maize, not as in, it's amazing. Although it is, 325, lovely. JTMY 40, for this again, 325. Make those little ones dresses. Yeah, and, and know that, you know, those, that party season, they've got all those little dresses to wear, gorgeous. Uh, okay, now next up, We've got two spot-ons. So this is your sky spot-on, beautiful blue. Absolute classic there. And again, 4.95 uh, for a half a meter of your spot-on uh, fabric there. JTMY 65, it's a lovely fresh blue, isn't it? Really pretty. And then maybe you want the teal. By the half meter again, 4.95 by the half meter. Great value for money. There, look at that. Woohoo! Uh, if you want three meters, then you put six in the quantity. That's six lots of half meter. O A M Y 07. Hurrah! There they are. Perfect. Oh, now cloth kits. Most popular is. It's the farmyard one. Janice made this. Here we go. It is super comfy and cosy, fully wadded. Let me take the hanger out because there are some little details that I want you to see on here. Now, uh, two ways of finishing this off. But you see, you've even got a little secret pocket in there. So it's, you know, you've got that beautiful interior there. If you don't want to bind, because look, you've got binding around the sleeves there. You can always just put the lining and your coat right sides together and turn through like we've done there. Otherwise, like on the one that I made, you can put a binding all the way around and then you don't have to worry about that. Uh, so different ways in which you can make these. But you see, look, you've got pockets everywhere. So on the farmyard one here, this is your sleeve. And then you pattern match. So you've given the sleeve and you can just pop your little piggy in there. And again, with your pockets, they pattern match. 
So over here, oh, hello. And you do get, you get, you get a little, little animal in the pocket. There's your little pig and piglet. And again, so you get little, little treats. Uh, Carol, hello. She says, hi, I've ordered the Pardon My Garden monkey this morning. My first ever order. Oh, congratulations. Oh, if that's your first ever order, Carol, you'll also be getting one of our sewing quarter um, sewing kits because you spent over £10 on your first order. You'll be getting one of those. I don't know if this is a full one because I have dabbled in these and taken stuff out when I've needed it. Oh, no, this one's pretty much full. There you go. That's what you're going to be getting. Yay! Um, please, can you explain, how do I order online without the postage being added? Just order. You just, you just order. So how it works is our postage gets applied at midnight. So everything that you've checked out through throughout the day, we won't take the money until midnight. We top everything up, tot it all up, and then at midnight we add on the postage and that's when it gets charged, which is why you can check out your baskets as many times as you'd like throughout the day and you'll get no additional postage. It's only one P and P throughout the day. So just uh, in answer to your question, Carol, you just buy. You just you just check out again and we won't ever add anything more than one PMP, which is two ninety five a day. It's a bit of a weird concept, isn't it? It took me a little while to get my head around it. Um, it's the same as our sister channel at Jewelry Maker. And you know, the first time I watched that I was like, Oh, how does that work? But it is it's a great way because then, you know, we don't want to make money out of you out of the postage. We want you to be able to get your things at a fair price and that's why we do our postage like that. Really important for us uh, that that is the case for you. Now, if you're grabbing oh hang on, there's hang on, there's another critter in here. I've got a cow in there as well. So all of the, um, you get the wadding. Oh, there. There's your cow. There's your pigs. Um, I keep find coming across different critters in here. This is your box. So in the box, it comes like this. So again, great if you want to gift it. So your own padded jacket. And it is super warm. Um, and so you get a great big sheet like this. I don't know how close we can zoom in on that, but it's a great big sheet like that because I'm not sure if I'm allowed to open this one. And they are all your pattern pieces. So all of this is coming in it. So you get uh, your wadding, you get your lining, you get a great big sheet of lining, you get your thread, you get your toggles, um, and you get your little cloth kits tag, and you also get your binding. So. Cut out all of those and then you cut your wadding out and then you just tack uh, where your wadding is and then you use those as your pattern pieces to then cut out your lining because there is an option with these to quilt them. So you can make this um, a quilted jacket should you wish. If you're going to quilt it, don't cut the lining out until you've quilted because it will come up slightly smaller just from where you've done the quilting. So you've got that option on here as well. And the only reason I know that is because I made one. Um, so that's that one. Now the one I made is this one. Oh, I've lost my animals. Come back farmyard, come back. Pop those back in the pockets. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, there you go. This is, I mean, this is your. I made this. I made, look, I even bound, I did binding. I did binding, me. Oh gosh. Um, all of these pockets are all wadded and all lined. Every single pocket. Um, there's a pocket up there. There's a pocket there. And the lovely thing is that they pattern match. So look, you see, there's the front of my, my wild boar. And there's the back of my wild boar. And there's my pocket around there. You also have pockets on the arms as well. I've got a big old mole in that one. And then a little foxy foxy in there. And then you get all your little critters. So if you want to then put that little fox in there your stuffed toy fox in there it's oh it's great it's 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 cute 
you could be kicking up those leaves in the park in this, couldn't you? It's very, very warm and snuggly. Now, if you wanted to quilt it, there is an option to quilt it. It gives you instructions on how to do that. It gives you ideas, different ways in which to quilt it, should you wish. And then you would still make your lining. So you make the lining exactly the same way as you make the coat. And you use these front pieces to then, to then do that. So you can, you can buy it now and have it made ready for autumn. It's perfect, absolutely perfect. And then you see bound around there, so you've got your binding. Because this is basically two jackets, two jackets put together, and then you just do your binding around. Like we made the boxy reversible cloth kits jacket. That one? There. Now the pink dress, uber, uber popular. Let me show you that one. Now, it's just the thing when you get it. Well, it's just the thing. It comes rolled up, um, rolled up, rolled up, rolled up. Um, have we got a picture of it rolled up? Because I obviously have unrolled it. So that's how it runs. And it just, you know, very discreet, yes. But let's talk you through this layout here. So get it home, open it up, iron it out. That's your lining. Well, I would, but yeah, because then you've got your creases. So then, and then you cut out. So you decide, this is ages four to six. So again, you'll have your key over here as to which sizes. Made very well in England. Four, five, or six. You just follow the line um, that translates to which size you want to go for. And you see, you can really see how easy that is. And so then, you pick, and it's very, very easy to follow. Um, and then this is your lining. It's lined in this vibrant, burnt orange. I love that. Absolutely gorgeous. You've got a pocket with a B on as well, and that's all going to be lined. Full instructions. You want to see how easy this is, and this really is superdy duperdy easy. So you've got that gorgeous bold pink and this is this is the thing it, you know undeniably cloth kits in fact can i ask right um the last time we had cloth kits on a show my uh, my wonderful friend emma sent in a photo but it didn't work she sent in a photo of her circa 1980s in a dress in a cloth kits dress her mum had made and she sent a photo in so if any of you have got photos in cloth kit outfits, send them in. Let's have a look at where it all began. Send in those vintage cloth kit uh, pictures. It's, it's a very unmistakable style. You know, when I was making my jacket over during the week, so many of you were like, is that cloth kit? Is that, are they still a thing? Yes, they're very much still a thing. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is how easy they are to make. So you get full instructions. Believe you me, you know, I'm no dressmaker, but I can make one and it's easy. Uh, cut out an iron. And it just, it's, it shows you step by step with pictures. And then over here, you see it shows you've got a full, um, a full thing of right side, wrong side and lining. So it's just gonna show you, um, you know, that's your lining there. You see the pockets are all going to be lined. This is so easy. If this is your first foray into dressmaking, then this is an excellent way. For me, this has given me so much confidence to now get going and get dressmaking. So look at that. It's, um, it's a lovely um, thick cotton. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to really fall nicely. And then it's also going to be lined as well with that vibrant, gorgeous orange. This is a beautiful dress. Now, this is the thing, okay? If you make this out of the largest size, then you can always then just, um, so if you cut it out of the largest size, there's no reason that you can't then just keep, keep cutting it down or letting it out. I, I love it. I think it's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. 
Penny says, hi there, I'm so enjoying your shows. My first order arrived yesterday. Wonderful, so happy, says Pen. Thank you. So many of you, uh, you know, getting involved now and realizing we're here and telling your friends and just, and, and also, you know, messaging the shows. Thank you ever so much for getting involved. We love to hear from you. Um, now, don't forget you, oh no, hang on. Just throwing the, but. oh, they're like shell mother of pearl buttons. Sorry, as I just threw them everywhere. I knew that we were about to move on, but look, aren't they pretty? They're yeah, mother of, no, they're pretty, aren't they? So it's the, just a little detail. Nothing is skimped on. Absolutely nothing. I cannot stress enough. If this is your first time dressmaking, go cloth kits because it's all there. You don't have to worry about your pattern layout, your straight of grain or anything like that. It's all done for you. You just have to cut it out and sew it and that's it. Um, so I would, I, yeah, absolutely sing their praises. Really lovely. But if you are, if you are, um, you know, more confident and you want to get making and you want some fabulous fabric to get making in, this is the most popular this hour. This is your cheeky spot on. 4.95 per half a meter. So this is a meter that I've got here. 4.95 per half a meter. LBMY95. Giving you that, and that's your cheeky pink. 4.95. Oh yes. We love that. Now, let's have a look because we've got. Um, a premiere today that we think is excellent value. So take a look at this and we'll go into more detail in just one moment. Now, we think you get a huge amount in here. Um, and we're very taken with it, I have to say. It's a summer bundle with a Mexican twist. Is that like tequila with a twist of lime? That would be my idea of a Mexican twist. Um, I'm going to take everything out and we'll, I'll put it all back in and show you. But I just want to show you the box because this is... $29.95 would not be unheard of to pay for, for the box alone. But we've filled it. Um, it's got a nice um, metallic clasp there. It's a magnetic clasp. You've got almost kind of... Can you see? It's like a gold finish on that binding there. Now, listen to this. It's made of wood. So it's, it's got that wood and then it's padded and then you've got the fabric on top. So it's really, really soft. There's a lovely sort of satiny finish on there. So soft to the touch. Um, I've been known in the past with mine to just stick pins in the top when I'm just working. It's like, I don't need that. But you don't need to because you've got your pin cushion in there already. And you've got a nice little secret pocket for whatever else you want to pop in there. And you've got the tray for all your gadgets and goodies. And then you've got space in there for your fat quarters. Look at that lovely, shiny. Oh, yeah. Um, so you've got, this is a really, really fabulous little piece of kit. But talking of kit, we're going to put in there with it, there, um, a tape measure. 30 different needles. So all sorts of different sizes there. A great place to start. Um, black and white thread with a needle threader and extra needles, just in case your 30 there weren't enough. And then you've got your dressmaker's pins. Perfect. Nice scissors. We like the scissors. Nice sharp scissors going in there. I think this is my favorite thing out of it, because, only because I don't have one yet. Um, and that's, look at that. So you've got um, your pin cushion that goes around your wrist. Brilliant. Really great, and then you've got extra pins. $29.95, what a, what a really cohesive, brilliant, big piece of kit. It's got so much, comprehensive, not cohesive, comprehensive piece of kit. Love it, $29.95, it's all in there. Perfect for a gift to yourself or anyone else. Now, cloth kits that are the most popular is the mulberry. Really, which we haven't, we actually, we haven't even got that in the studio, have we? But this is it. Should we have a look at that in more detail? There it is. Now you get the wadding, you get the buttons. Look at that lovely purple lining. And then you get all the critters on the outside. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, 
ages one through to six. If you've got multiple grandchildren, this is one that's going to be passed down. Absolutely, it's going to be loved, worn, and passed down. Designed by Janet Kennedy. And it's also coming with um, a sheep, a pig, and a cow, and a tractor in terms of those little stuffed, uh, stuffed toys. Now, again, as with the other two jackets that we've shown you, you can quilt them or you can just leave them plain. Both of these have been left plain, but there's no reason why you can't quilt it. It's so lovely and soft when it's just left, but you can quilt it. No problems with that at all, however you want it. Um, can I show the giraffe trousers again? Oh, one more. Uh, so that is your farmyard jacket in mulberry. Here it is. There you go. That is your farmyard jacket in mulberry. Really pretty purples and pinks there. Gorgeous. Yay, we love it. Also, what we love, I'd like to show you the giraffe trousers. I love these giraffe trousers because these can be for boys or girls. Having had the giraffe incident in our household, in fact, uh, well, you know, our household, our, our, our car hold, yes. Yes, the door is slightly reshaped. Um, but the photo, I don't know, you know, rather than trying to get the giraffe out of the car, uh, my husband ended up taking a photo of Freddie just laughing his head off with this giraffe in his lap. All while I was at work. Yep. Uh, but these are giraffe trousers in kind of a red cord. So boys or girls, absolutely perfect. And they're just, oh, they're so soft. They are so soft. We have... Have we still, are we still stocking the giraffe toy as well that goes with this? There's a cloth kits giraffe toy as well, which is fab. Um, so here you go. This is your pocket. Uh, you've got your waistband. You've got a tie for the front there. And then a little bag there. So all of this. I love it. I absolutely love it. So these are your trousers. If you've never made trousers before, what a great place to start, because then as soon as you start making them for yourself, you just upsize it, and that's it. I'm just wondering. Um, in here as well, here are your full instructions. We've got a new winner, says Producer Paul. A new favourite. What's the new favourite? Oh, the padded farm jacket's taken over in Leeds. Um, I want to show you the instructions to, again to show you just how simple. Even the thread comes with it. Thread, elastic, um, and then if you want to add in your little cloth kit tag, then you've got that. You know this is going to be an easy make when it's only a page of instructions. And again, but really clear, really clear instructions. So you've got that side and then you've got the other side there, which just shows you how to finish off all your hems and your waistband. But super easy. Love it. $21.95 for your cloth kits giraffe trousers, ages one to three. I love that. I love that. Absolutely love that. Uh, now, popular is the farmyard. This is the most popular. That child's loving his jacket, isn't he? It's like, yeah, let me out there. Let me show. Yeah. And off he goes. He doesn't need any shoes. He's got his jacket on. Off he goes. Um, there's the jacket. That's what it's going to look like. I love that jacket. That farmyard jacket. I wish that I was six again. I'd wear that. I'd have loved that. The joy of being a second child was that I always used to get my brother's hand-me-downs. So you see, he could have worn that first, and I'd have been so happy to have had that handed down to me. Now you see, you've got your wadding, and again, all with that lovely ribbon, you've got the wadding, and then you get the full, the full madubri. Can we open up one of these? Why not? The whole shebang, can we? 34.95. I'm having a look. 
Do check out your baskets. Don't miss out on these. There you go. Yeah. I did ask producer Paul and you said yes. Or were you saying yes to something else? Oh, you were saying yes to something else. I did ask him if it was okay to open it. I thought you said yes, producer Paul. <laughs> he was just said, are you opening that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know what else you were saying yes to, but uh, now we've opened it. Um, but you see, this is it. It all comes beautifully, beautifully packaged. And again, you can see that's, it's all printed on there. You just cut it out. And then that's your red lining. It's really, really easy, really lovely. There we go. I'm popping it back in. No one will ever know. Woohoo! Uh, if you're buying this as a gift for someone to make, it's lovely. You know, they don't, they don't even have to buy thread because it's all in there. Now, the one that I made is in your retro colours. Which is this one. They're all so cute. It's just depending on, you know, whether you want... This is, I guess this is more kind of your American style, isn't it? Your American animals. Oh, there's a thread I just need to snip. Um, but that's what, you know, because if I show you all the different animals on the back, you've got owls and rabbits and badgers and foxes. And is that a wild boar? I think it is. And a beaver. That's why I say America. Is that, a, is that a wolf on there and, a, and an eagle? No, 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 this one here, uh, but, uh, that one there. That's your fox. What's that? It's got a... I think that's a wolf. You've even got a mole in there. It's, it's just fab. It's, it's a lot of fun. And the little critters that come with it, because each of these... So then when any wadding, any spare wadding that you've got left over, and this is what I love about cloth kits, they've thought of everything, um, is little creatures to keep little hands occupied in those pockets. So you've got the mole. Yeah, excuse the pin, I haven't uh, slip stitched him yet. Um, and then you've got Mr. Foxy Foxy. Him. And you've got Mr. Beaver. I love his teeth. He's awesome, isn't he? <laughs> and then you've got the squirrel there. And uh, so, you know, you can, and you can surprise, surprise your little one. Yeah, I think, no, look, look he's looking, he's like, are you, in, are you eyeing up my nut? That's what he's saying. <laughs> he's like, get your mittens off me acorns. <laughs> 34.95. But you see there, it's just it's that little added extra. Pop it in. Um, now, oh, do you want to see the instructions and everything for these? And you do get, like, lining and stuff left over. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Look, these are, the these are the buttons I haven't put on yet. I completely forgot. Whoops. Aren't these great? It's the, it's just, it's the detail. You know, like the, the girl's dress had those beautiful mother of pearl type buttons. Look at these, they look like horns. And you get enough binding to bind everything. And yeah, so you get five of those in your packet and your instructions. Let me show you the instructions. Um, because I want you to see how easy they are. You know, the fact I can do it basically proves it's really easy. So these are your instructions. You can wash it. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's your laundry instructions as well. All in there. And this is how it comes. So it comes all laid out like that. And you cut everything out. So these are your little, these are your little stuffed toys around there. And then you've got various pockets around the place. And then it shows you how to cut them out. Again, you've got your key as to which is your right side, wrong side wadding. And then off you go. So you cut them out. And this shows you about quilting. So if you want to quilt it, then you can absolutely do that. And it shows you how to do all of that. These are your pockets. So each of your pockets are all lined as well. Um, in the back, it tells you different ways to quilt. 
So if you're new to quilting, then it shows you all the different patterns that you can do for your quilting on there. And it also in the back gives you different different details for, you know, if you want to clip on your set on your curves, pressing seams open. So it doesn't assume any knowledge, which is great. Um, which is really lovely. And then through here, so then it shows you uh, where to place your pockets. So they're your sleeves. Uh, and then you just, so on the farmyard one, those sleeve ones are pattern matched exactly. So you pop those in. There is an option to do an inside pocket as well, if you wish. And then you just do your wadding and your outside and you make the jacket with just the wadding and the outside. And then you use those pattern pieces before before you start to sew it, you use those pattern pieces to then cut your lining. And you make the lining in exactly the same way as you do this. Then you put the lining inside the jacket and you bind all the way around. It even shows you how to do your hooks for that. It even tells you which way to put them on if you're making for a boy or if you're making for a girl. And then you bind it and you do. You start, you bind, you start binding at the back of the coat and you come all the way up. It goes all the way around the collar um, and all the way down the other side and all the way around and also you bind down there. Now the most popular colourway today has been the mulberry, it's been that purple and pink which we haven't actually got in the studio, I don't know why we haven't but we haven't today. Um, but if you want to grab this one and this has been so popular, it is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so we're loving these. I'm so pleased that Cloth Kits has had a revival. My mum's very pleased that Cloth Kits has had a revival as well. So happy memories for us. So you get um, your pattern, you get your lining, you get your wadding, you get um, your instructions, you get your buttons, you even get your thread. Everything is in there. And then at the end you get those little animals as well to stick in the pocket. You get a sheep, you get a cow pig and a tractor. Yeah. It's the most popular out of them at the moment. I'm just trying to find different pockets to put these things in. There you go, squirrel. In you go. Wee. Love, love, love them. I don't know which is your favourite producer, Paul. I don't know with me if it's you like, no, I don't mean out of the jackets, out of all of the, all of the clothes on the show. The dress, is the dress your favourite? You know it's not your show, don't you? But let me show you the dress again. If you are after, and now that I've discovered cloth kits again, this is, this is the way to get your, to get into dressmaking. I'm convinced of it, absolutely convinced of it. Now that I've made one, I would say this is absolutely the way to get into your dressmaking because you're not having to worry about laying it out on the fabric it's all done for you you just have to cut it out sorry the draft trousers of um no get um fab it's all there it's all there done for you step by step instructions lined in this wow, fabulous orange you get beautiful buttons and you get that thread as well. There's a lot of thread, by the way. You're going to have a lot of thread left over. You've also got a nice orange ribbon to go with it if you wanted to embellish anywhere. And this is the way. So you see, by the time that you've made one of these, then, then when you decide to buy yourself a pattern, you'll understand exactly what you're doing because you've already done it. it. It takes all of the fear out of it. And that's what I really love about cloth kits really love about it apart from the vibrancy and oh, and the texture as well to so 21.95 vqcy10 i would say if you are thinking of getting into dressmaking for your little ones or whatever grab a cloth kit kit and have a make and i would look at it as being kind of a workshop in a kit because so much of it, the hard stuff's done for you. The laying it out, you know, the cutting the pattern to size. No, no, no. You just follow the line and cut it to whatever size you want. So that the tough stuff is done. And you just have to cut and sew. 
So you're already down to the great, the, the really nice stuff. You're not having to worry about, have I done this on the, on the straight of grain or anything like that? It's all laid out. Fish bash brush gets sewing. Love it. A, a really comprehensive kit. I like it a lot. Um, so that's the dress. Now for me, you see, I haven't tackled trousers yet. I'd love to see these made up. Um, there we go. Let's pop that dress over there. Ah, oh. my um, my brother when when he had his first child, little girl Elsa, um, decided you know we're we're not going to push pink on her just because she's a girl. So they did everything to sort of avoid pink. And of course, now all she wants is pink and rainbow. That would be perfect for her. Absolutely gorgeous. And these would be perfect for anyone, quite frankly. In fact, my little nephew would look gorgeous in these. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, these are your giraffe trousers. Oh, yeah. Boys or girls, equally going to be happy to wear these. This is going to be something that you're going to hand down as well. They're just fab. L look at them. Just absolutely gorgeous. So for me, um, for, uh, for starting off making trousers, this is going to be, this will be the first pair of trousers. And then you're going to know how to make them and it will be easy going, going on from there. It's going to take all of that scariness out. Once you've put this together, simple instructions, thread, elastic, it's all there then you can make anything. And it's, such, it's, it's a corduroy. These are corduroy trousers, basically. They're just lovely and so warm. But it's, oh, I, I love it. And of course, you get the little bag. So how to get in touch with us today, hello, Joel, um, is on the website, which is sewingquarter.com. It's always lovely to hear from you. Lots of you have been in touch already today. Thank you ever so much. Um, you can, when you head to the website, go to the page where it says watch and then you watch live and then underneath is a little box saying, there you go, message the studio. You can web chat us, that's what we call our web chat. You can message us on, um, into, uh, on email if you've got lots to say, then that is sewingquarter, uh, studio at sewingquarter.com. And then underneath is everything we've had on the show today. There we go. Everything that we've had on the show. So that's your, um, that's your quick, quick list. So for example, the monkey that we had on the show, we've still got a handful left of. So if you wanted the tilde monkey and you've made your mind up, you can't be without the monkey. Where is monkey? Where is he? I don't know where he's gone monkeying around somewhere. Uh, anyway, if you want to make your tilde monkeys, you make two monkeys out of the pack. 1995 for your two monkeys, OXGQ92. There's one, but you're gonna get two of those. If everybody checks out, there are only seven left. I said there was only a handful left. If everybody checks out, only seven left. Now, how many of the elephant have we got left? So we've got to give a little, a little stock check on all of these so that anybody, um, I don't want anybody missing out because that elephant is gorgeous. That's the first time I've seen that elephant and I'm a little bit in love, I'm not going to lie. I think he's a bit special. So if you're after the elephant, he is 1995. He comes with his party hat, his gorgeous ruff and dungarees. Look how gorgeous that is. Just divine. Six left, that's it. <gasps> Gosh, you need to get in quick. You do need to get in quick. 1995 there. TNGQ45. Now, of course, remember, check out your baskets for all of these on the show today. Um, especially the baskets, which is kind of what the show's been about. Uh, most popular one is, is this one. I'm not surprised. Do you want to see the pattern on the back? Look how gorgeous that is. It, this is your farmyard one, and it's just gorgeous. So you've got your tractor in there. 
good old horse and cart. Cows, swans, everything. There's even rabbits and hares. In fits. Ah, oh, we've we've lost we've lost the effect. There you go. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Um, yeah. Brilliant. Love it. Oh, look, there's a little bird on the back. Uh, $34.95. The colours are gorgeous, aren't they? Uh, red, red, white and blue. Nice, good colours. Don't go out of fashion. They are. They're, they're good, solid colours. I think that's the best way to describe them. Good, solid colours. And you're always going to know when it comes to picking your kid up from school, you know which, which jacket is theirs. Yeah. Uh, $34.95 for that grab your cloth kits. This is one that's going to be handed down through the family. Uh, Mulberry, very, very popular as well. If you want basically that sort of jacket, but in pinks and purples, then let's have a look at the details for that. Again, $34.95. Here it is. Um, and it's just one great big cloth that you then cut up and also then you get the wadding and also you get a great big sheet of lining as well. It's all in there, $34.95 CICY07. Now Joe Carter is next up after the break and we're going to be making a great big Dresden plate circular cushion with a pom-pom trim. I think we're calling it the boho pom-pom cushion. So. Don't forget, join us in just a couple of minutes. We're going to have a very quick break. Then we're going to be back and Jo's going to be uh, sharing her wealth of experience after the break. Stay tuned. Grab a cuppa. I'll see you in a minute. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. different ways you can buy from us here at the Sewing Quarter. You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK based call centre. Alternatively there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sewingquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products excluding custom-cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step. Today I'm going to be showing you how to sew a satin stitch. This is basically a line of straight stitches covering an area, let's say a petal, um, and they'll be parallel and adjacent to each other giving you a nice satin finish. So I'm using embroidery thread and I do have a, a knot in the end just for the purpose of this demonstration. So I'm going to be taking my needle from the back to the front of my work and I'm just going to sew a simple square. So I've done my first line of stitching. And you can see that I'm coming in very close, but not through the same hole that I did before. So my next line of stitching will be parallel to the one I've just created. So I'm going to keep doing that. we have our setting stitch.
Welcome back to our last live hour this afternoon, this, mo no, this morning, not this afternoon, is it? Gosh, I'm thinking the day's whizzing ahead already. Uh, I'm Natasha McCarthy, you've got me, and I'm joined by the very, very talented Jo Carter. She's with us, we'll meet her in just one moment. But this is what she's made for us for this hour. Isn't it a showstopper? Isn't it gorgeous? Uh, so, pom-pom trim around the edge. And then this, this is it, isn't it? We've had, everybody's had their thoughts on what it looks like. It is the Dresden plate. Um, we've had, some of us have said, oh, it looks like a dartboard. Some have said, I said it looked like a compass. And um, award-winning director Mike said that it was a sundial. So it's amazing, everybody sees different things, but certainly everyone says it's gorgeous. Look at that, just fab. And buttoned up beautifully at the back. There you go. Now you're going to need a kit to make this. So we've got two different kits for you today. This was made with dash wood. So your dash wood, you're getting eight fat quarters with your dash wood. Let me show you these. That's now going to be in my way, isn't it? There we go, pop that there. Uh, so out of your dash wood fabrics, your fat quarters are here. You get, also, you, whoa, let me throw those around the place. You're also going to get um, a half meter of your spot on, which is this one here, and then a half a meter of your plane as well for your backing, uh, as well as buttons and pom-pom trim and all of these fat quarters. It's taken me ages to load these out because you get so many. Gosh, there you go. Um, We'll show you these later. Uh, now, so that's one, that's $32.95 for that. But then we're gonna make today a pink version. And these are the fabrics that we're using for the pink version. These are um, part linen, actually, this fabric here. So that's your linen option there with your pink. This is $28.95. Now, within that, you're also getting your spot on and your vintage pink in there as well. And you're also getting some buttons and your trim. So it's all going in and there. Different buttons there. Yeah, you get two packets of buttons. So uh, not the one that we've got here. We've got two of those. $28.95 RSGC. 39. Right. Now, the inspiration, and you get your stuffing as well, and the inspiration, the stuffing is on the show, so we'll show you that later as well. So if you want your stuffing, so you can stuff your cushion, it's 2 95 Also, actually, if you were buying the monkey or the elephant, that's the stuffing that you want, that one there, 295 OAGQ25. I knew we had stuffing on somewhere this morning. There it is. Now, uh, this is your bookazine. It's kind of a cross between a book and a magazine, a bookazine. This is, is it a book? Is it a magazine? Who knows? It's a bookazine. But within here, and this is just 795, here we go. you get lots of different inspirations in here. So whether, no, it's, it's more substantial than a magazine, but you also get your templates. There, look at that, lovely. Um, oh, I like that out of your strips. Look at that, that's lovely. So lots of different, oh, that's nice as well. Your rainbow ripple. Oh, 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 look at those. Hey, did you make those, Joe? Oh, hey, talking to Joe. Hello, Joe. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, thank you very much. Now, weekend quilting. Yes. Is this the first time you've seen this? Well, a lot of it, because they're projects from, it's from the makers of Love Patchwork and Quilting. So I've seen some of the projects before in the magazines, but they've brought some of them together 
to make this sort of their, um, their favorite top picks yes good weekend project now you see you might notice there the editor our very own jenny fox proverbs yeah there she is looking uber glam uber, uber glam do you know she's got over 20 years experience in magazines she doesn't look old enough no she doesn't at all I had to sit down when I heard that. <laughs> you are joking. In fact, I questioned her on it. Like, Jenny, seriously. I don't think that's possible. No, mm. she, she says it is older than she looks. Um, now, what did you, when we gave you this, what jumped out at you? What did you really love? I could have made a lot of things from here, I have to say. Um, but to have a project that fits within sort of an hour and gives it a bit of a flavour of, the sort of look of the projects and the style. I went for the pom pom cushion. Okay. By a designer called Joe Avery. She's fab. But look at these. Ooh. Oh, can we? Is that the wrong way around? It's the wrong way around, isn't it? Let me just spin that around. I love that. Look at that. So this is what we've chosen. Seven ninety five for this. And so much inspiration. And this is your version. They always look so different, don't they? Depending on the different colourways that you use. Fabric, colour and print can just transform. Doesn't it? Yes, from design to design. If it's the same design, you can get such varied results just by altering the fabric. You see here, it does look quite Moroccan. I know they've sort of put it with that, but it, it does have that sort of Moroccan floor cushion feel. It does. And I guess that's, that's up to how much you want to stuff it. Yes. How did you stuff it? I, in there, I have put a 16 inch square cushion pad mm. and then used a bit of the filling just to curve out the edges because it's quite, because it's quite a large round yeah. cushion. So yes, I've used a square one, but then added extra um, toy filling to fill it out. There's no reason actually that you couldn't um, stuff an old pillow or something in there, something like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. You know, all those sorts of things you can use to stuff with. And if you don't want the back, um, because that has an opening on the back with the buttons, you could seal the back entirely and stuff it completely with stuffing and close it so that it can't, you can't get to the insides. Yeah. And then you could stuff it quite firmly as well. So it's up to you that all of that, all of that can happen however you wish. Um, where do we start? Because this looks quite complicated. I'm not going to lie. I do love a clever and ingenious technique and this, you would not think this went together the way that it did, but it is, it's really clever and quick and straightforward really. There's no way that's quick. No, that's because not quick. It, well, is it? A bit, yes, it is quite quick. Well, I made that cushion in an afternoon. No. I did. It just looks so technical. It does, and anything when it's a circle, you think, oh, that's going to be complicated because it's a circle. And But no, really straightforward. Where do we start then? We start by, first of all, I need to say, actually, because this was Love Patchwork and Quilting, you can access all the templates online. Okay. And this wedge template is not here listed with them. So you do need to download. So you have to go online. Go online. Issue 10, mm -hmm. Love Patchwork and Quilting. Bring up the templates and it's, it's there. If, if you, um, we've got the website that we can show you where it is. Um, but we've also got another option for you, which we'll get to that in a minute. If that's, you know, if you're not into your computers, don't worry. We've got another option for you. Um, so Love Patchwork and Quilting, you just head to their, their website, Love Patchwork and Quilting. Our sister magazine is Love Patchwork and Quilting. And then you go to your free printable templates. And then you go for your templates for issue 10. Down you go. And then you click on that middle bit there. You can see flashing there. And then there you go. And then just print those out. You get loads actually, don't you? You do for lots of, for all the projects in issue 10, but we want... This project but actually doing it this way let me show you this template here you need to cut two of these out right anyway so actually just print this this one out twice makes it a lot e a lot easier than tracing this tracing out. it out of the out of there so actually and also i know that a lot of you like to keep your bookazines magazines all those sorts of things complete yes so it's nice to know that there is another place to go to where you don't have to change the size or 
change the scale or anything like that. It's all, that's all there for you online. So once we've got these out, what do we do then? Then we start with this. Aha. So cut from your fat quarters, mm. cut two inch wide strips and you want six different fabrics. I've just, because we use them in sets of three. So this is one set of three. I've chosen these three, cut two inch strips mm -hmm. and then piece them together. Nice. Yes. Along the lengths. Have a little bit of a think about because which fabric you want centrally, which will be in the center of one of those wedges that you, you see more of actually. So if you've got a favorite print, pop that pop, in the middle. Pop it in the middle. Okay. So we would have, let's see, have I got, I'll jump ahead a bit. So I selected. Oh, look at that. So you start with this. And that's going to that. become that. That's so amazing. This set is that one. This one. And then I piece this because there are only five different fabrics in the bundle. Mm. I chose the pale spot on fabric. Oh. Nice. And that's what I'm going to back the cushion with as well. So that comes Perfect. around into the back as well. Um, now, we've got two different bundle options for you. If you want the Dashwood Pom Pom Cushion, that's $32.95, and that's the one just there. That's what that one will make. If you want the pink one that we're making from there, then that comes with five fat quarters, and that is, I want to say, $28.95. Yay! I'm going to say it because it's right. RSGC39. So add your bookazine in and you're good to go. Okay. So I would need two of these. Okay. Because we need to cut. This is made of 16 wedges, so we need eight of each. So I'll make four now mm -hmm. to get the idea. So with a ruler and a rotary cutter. So strip together mm. and then cut, subcut this into four inch. Um, four inch wide okay. rectangles. You, know, you should have no idea how this all goes together. It's and it just looks stunning. And I'm just looking at the one that you made. Yeah, it is. It is only. So you've got that central circle and then you have, you're just making that decorative trim that goes around. It's clever. It you see, I look at that and I think that's going to be days worth of work. It I really isn't. It just is an afternoon. There we go. So I've got four of these. Gosh. So how many of these do you make in total? From each set of three, you want eight of these rectangles. Right. So cut two lots. So it's 60. You're going to have 16 to go around the whole circle. That's right. Yeah. So we have those then. And when they're cut out, make sure you have them all facing the right way up. Otherwise, you'll get different points. I mean, if that's if that's your design choice, then then absolutely. make it a design choice. Yeah. Okay. So this is my wedge template piece. Mm -hmm. You want to put this over the wider part will be the top of the wedge. Right. So centre that on there, and I mark oh, it. Ah, the trusty Jeez. pen. It's out. Of, how many of these do you get through a week? Do you know, they last for a really long time. Do they? They do. So this is uh, Joe's ever ready uh, water erasable pen. It does make me laugh. We, we, we know, we know your, um, your toolkit. Now you can do all these individually, but for the sake of time, I'm going to put, I'm going to do two together. Make sure they're exactly one on top of the other. And then following the pen lines I've made. You could cut straight along using this, but you lose, you'll, each time you do it, you will probably sneak a little bit of paper off as well and it'll just change the size. Oh, I see. Okay. So then, you know, you can use whatever, whatever sort of rulers that you've got, quilty type rulers that you've got at home. So this is a Dresden plate. Do we know where the Dresden plate originated from? I don't know. This is looking good so far. So I'll do this again. And these will become those. Uh, yeah, you see still, I'm like, how's that going to become a point? 
this is the magic of quilting, isn't it? There's, there's often um, just a little, a little cheat way, like putting the strips together that yes. makes it look like you've spent far longer than you ever did on it. That's the joy of it. There are so many, and I, I really am a sucker for a clever technique. I've made uh, a whole quilt based on how uh, liking the technique. Really? Yeah. Really? Oh my goodness. Well, this could be like the big central piece, couldn't it? You could, you could make several of these even and layer them up. Ooh. Julie in Cheshire says, cushion would also look great in the Tilda from the 8am show. Julie, everything looks great in Tilda. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, now, uh, Dresden, Karen says, oh, she sent us an image of her Dresden image. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, so she's sort of done sunrises, um, cushions to match. Oh, that's a bit good, isn't it? That's amazing, yeah. Look at that. L love that in the cool blues. It looks, I mean, yes, it's stunning, isn't it? Yeah, there's no two ways about it. That's are they matching incredible. cushions as yeah, well? Yeah, they are matching cushions. She's done a grand job there. Ooh. Uh, now, um, I said, I did say earlier, I gave you a little hint that if you aren't someone that wants to be looking through the website to find templates, da, 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 or if you just want to work with something that's a little bit more, um, well, reusable and solid, we've got the Dresden Plate Creative Grids, um, which are just fab. So if you know anything about Creative Grids, then you know that they are a fabulous family co run company in the UK and what really sets them apart, can you see these opaque bits on here? This is your um, embedded non-slip grip, which means that no matter how small a piece of fabric you're working on, that doesn't shift. And this gives you um, all sorts, I think this will take you up to a 19 inch finished plate. But when it's all finished, when it's, okay, so it, yeah, it does a nine inch one of these, but it's, it's going to go across. And then you've got the central piece as well. So I think it might even go up to like 21 inches. It's, it's, it's big. Yeah. Yeah, it is 21. I didn't make that up. It does. This gives you a circle as well. So if you, um, if you want to have that, and then you make your Dresden plate from there. But whatever size you wish, which is the, the glory of it. So if you want this, it's £20.95, VLCQ32, because it might be that you use the template this time and then go, but I want it in a different size. I'm going to, yes. I'm going to Dresden everything, quite frankly. A few of them, different sized circular cushions would look great, grouped together, with different sized Dresdens on there. Mm. They almost look like sort of, oh, oh, there's, I, mm. there's not enough time for all the sewing oh, I want to do. Oh, there, there's not, is there? No. I need at least 18 lifetimes to make everything that I go, oh, I'd love to make that, I'd love to make that. So we've done these, and this is all coming out of the bookazine for 7 95 What do we do next? Okay, well, we need 16 of these in all, eight in one set of fabrics, eight in another, and then once they're cut into the wedge shape, I'm going to press them, is the iron on? I'm going to press them in half. Yes, it is. Let me move oh. everything out of the way for you. There we go. Um, oh, 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 oh. In fact, I'll unplug all of it. Now, um, the kit that we've got for you, we've got two different kits. So whether you want it um, in the Dashwood, which is the one that we've got made, or whether you want it in the pink version that we are busy making, entirely up to you. That's the joy of it. There we go. Have an ironing mat. Um, so this is how the pink one is shaping up which I think is really quite spectacular. 28.95, no, producer Paul, I'm not putting it on my head to look like the Statue of Liberty. Although, when I kind of see what he means. That does look good. Uh, and then, oh, hang on, no, I droop if I let go. I've when it's done hand. in a circle, it's irresistible to not peer through it oh, at least really? once. Yes. So then you just look like a crazy flower. Yes. You could. It would be some kind of crazy, crazy jewellery. Look at that. So many options. Oh, there. I don't want to cover my... There. Or you could, you could end up looking like a, 
a quilted Queen Elizabeth. It's a good look. I like this. This is great. So many options. You thought it was just a cushion you were coming on to make, didn't you, Jane? I know. I just I didn't but actually, see the world of possibility. Yes. You didn't know that, uh, you know, Statue of Liberty. How on earth, Producer Paul, did you see Statue of Liberty with that? Brilliant. Oh, what have you done? So I've pressed these in half. Okay. Along the length. And now, press them in half because I'm going to sew across the top. But also, the crease is handy later for repositioning the top. So okay. you, you could skip the stage of pressing them in half. But I, I would advise not to because you want this crease to line up in a minute. I'm, le I'm learning very quickly that if you want to get um, the best results with your sewing, and I think this is where I've failed in the past, it, there's no two ways about it. You've got to iron. You've got to. And I've always been a bit of an iron foe, but actually seeing the better result that I get from just, I've just, I just have my iron out all the time to the extent that even my mum and dad came to visit and they're like, what's the iron doing out? They it was shocked. <laughs> That's how little I iron. I was like, well, mum, you know, I'm quilting now. And, uh, and she just said, oh, you like your grandmother. You do have to learn to love your iron. Yeah. You're right. It's true. Mm. And at this point, I've reduced. You don't need to reverse backwards and forwards at the ends because they're held in. Okay. Inside and we'll, we'll top stitch around anyway, which will hold it all in mm. place. So I'm just going to chain piece all these together along the top just for speed and ease. Okay. And then, you see, this is where it blows my mind because it's just... It's just a straight line, but you're going to make a point. And that, you know, when things just don't, you know, how is that going to happen? If I were reading this on instructions, then I would, I would be flummoxed going, that can't be right. Surely they've made a mistake. Actually, the instructions are really well, are really easy to follow. They're, we've got photographs of each step. So you're never alone. If you're making this out of a book, then you are absolutely never alone. If I could just find it. Here it is. Um, give a casual day in the garden. Uh, a boho makeover. This is the this is the one, isn't it? Look, stacking them all up. It's just garden furniture. See, this is they've they've thought this is perfect for out in the garden, and I agree with that that incredible blast of colour. But you see, the garden garden wear is expensive. It is. Really expensive, but now you can make your own. I mean, in those colours as well, in these bright colours, it really does say summer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Even on a grey day. Oh, hang on. What did you do? So we're repositioning them. So they've come out of the sewing machine like that, and you've just, and you have, this is where I can't quite work it out. You have sewn straight, just straight along the top. How do you make that then I'm into a... I'm just going to clip corner ever so slightly just take off the edge of the corner mm -hmm. so it turns nicely and then open out this seam like that and turn it out like that oh. I've kept my flower stick from oh before. yeah your flower it, sticks it from your till there and then that will form and you want to line up the seam with the pressed fold and I'll give these a press again and then we have the blades, the wedges. That's amazing. Isn't it clever? So you're not having to do crazy, crazy. Well, there's not cutting of ang angles. No. and I haven't quite mastered triangles yet. So this is a great cheat. I feel like it's a cheat. It's a, it, it's but I love it. Genius, isn't it? Yeah. So again, clip the corner off at the fold, keeping well away from the stitches. Open that out. Just flip it round. Ease the point out carefully so it's not a nice sharp point. And then line that up with the fold and give them a press. Well, that's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. How pretty is this? <gasps> this is going to look gorgeous in the garden, isn't it? It will. Conservatory, anything like that. Oh, lovely. And it's fun to make as well. Yeah. I, you know, you've got an enjoyable process. So, so uh, you've got something great at the end of it, but also... It's a really nice, relaxing, and you, a sense of achievement. That's why I love sewing. Well, I think by the time that you've made this and you've learned how to do this, actually, it is one of those things. You're going to be like our viewer that sent in the quilt and the matching cushions. 
you, you're going you're gonna to fly and think of all the different opportunities. That's why I think, you know, having something like the creative grids so yes. that you know that you've got a template for all the different sizes because it does give you all the different inches, all the different sizes on there is absolutely perfect. Um, so, you know, if you love a Dresden plate, and I think I'm a bit of a convert, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this an awful lot, then grab your creative grids as well. You know, it's, uh, it's one of those things and you've always got it. And when you get it, don't throw away the packaging on this. Look, you can see that's your non-slip grip there. Because on the packaging, um, not only does it give you shortcuts to video tutorials on to how to use it. So even if you can't remember the date of this show to watch back on YouTube, you've always got videos on how to use this piece of kit. Yes. Because you've kept your packaging from it. And, and that's ace. I've watched some of those videos they're really good you're a bit of a creative grid convert aren't you i am i would not discovered them before sewing quarter i love yes why do you love them because i love it when our designers say actually yes not have it the fact that they have grips makes a huge it, they're not going to slip about even with fabric that's got a bit of a sheen to it you know they're going to stay put so you're not going to lose if you you know if it slides and you then have to recut you're not going to lose any fabric because they don't slide they stay put but also, my favourite is the one I've used recently, I had yesterday and last week, for half square triangles. The maths is done for you as well because quilting ah, can be... A bit of a mathematical challenge. Yes, but often the maths is done as well and it's all really easy to follow and really well laid out. Well, it is, it is on this and uh, your circle, your central circle template done as well. Uh, so that's £20.95, VLCQ32. Uh, We've got more pictures. There's a lot of love for the Dresden out there. Look at those. Now, this is Sandra and Marilyn. Marilyn's on the left. Sandra's on the right. See, it's amazing. They can look like flowers. They can look like sunrises, sunbursts. Fab. They're really versatile. I mean, they're beautiful. Such a versatile shape. And just altering the size, altering the difference in the fabric. Well, the use. monochrome one there. I really I, like the I thought that one. I thought she'd done sort of... Um, sort of alternate but no look it's a monochrome in there oh look at that and this one looks oh, almost like a flower it does isn't it chrysanthemum incredible how different just using two different fabrics right so i'll give these a press oh, okay. and then once they're all done they can be assembled together into um, the i'm going to go and show you the sets that you can get to make these uh whilst you do your ironing uh now so the dashwood kit is this one. So this is what it's going to look like. A completely different feel by just changing the colourway of your fabric. There's the sound. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that fab? Now, if you want to make this out of your dashwood fabric and you are getting a metre of fabric and your eight dashwood fat quarters, it's a lot of fabric. There you go. I'll put that there. And let me get rid of that. Uh, and you get your pom-pom and you get your buttons. So let me show you the, the half, so half metre of this and a half metre of your spot on. There you go. So you've got all of that, half metre of each of those and your buttons and your pom-pom trim. And let me show you what those fat quarters look like out and about. So if you want to grab your dashwood, and actually you can have so much fun working with all the different colourways. There they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's seven or eight fat quarters in this. We'll just check that. Ooh. Eight. We're missing one on there. So you get an extra one that's not shown there. Yeah, it's, I'll tell you which one's missing. It's this one here. That's the one that you also get. That stripey one. Fab. Someone's had that away, haven't they? I bet that's in a project somewhere. So you get eight dashwood fat quarters. Um, the dashwood by itself, if you just want that, is 19.95. So if you just want the dashwood, because maybe you want to make multiples, 
there you go, 1995 FRAD93 if you want this dashwood bundle there then you can grab that. This has been so useful. That would make an entire quilt as well. We've had that. We've had this, this made into an entire quilt. It really does go an awfully long way. So if you want that just by itself. Now we've got another bundle so that you can make this cushion. You will get two sets of these buttons. And you're also going to get your pom-pom trim. You're also getting half a meter of each of those pinks. And you're getting five fat quarters here which are really rather lovely. Now, these are the ones that um, Joe has been using. These ones, 28.95 RSGC39 for these. Now, these have got a slight linen texture to them. In fact, and let me get you the ratio for those. It is 60% cotton, 40% linen on those. 28.95 for those. I'm going back over to Joe. I was going for a little wander. Hello. Hello. Oh, did I complete this circle? Yeah, now? I've laid them up for ease alternately, and then we just put them. Hang on, which way would I be more comfortable sewing that way? Because I should, actually I should have said this earlier. It was it was in the instructions. When you strip them together, you do the length, press the seams in opposite directions. I mean, you could do it at this point actually if mm. you, if, they're, if they're in the same direction. Just flip it over and press it the other way if it's going the wrong way. Because you want these seams here. It joins, it fits together. It just tends to fall together. Yes. They're pressed in opposite directions, the seams. And then so from the bottom all the way up. Again, you don't need to reverse backwards and forwards because we're going to go to top stitch all around. So that will ah, hold it okay. in place. Now, you see, this is, this is the top tip. When I um, was making my cushion and I, I put it on social media, um, a lady said, how do you get your points to absolutely meet? And it's this. I'm really pleased that you've showed us this. And it is. It's just by ironing in opposite directions. And then they sort of slot, don't they? They do. They just tend to fall one either side mm. so that they meet perfectly. I've done. See, they do fall. Yeah, they do. Perfectly really well every together. time. Yeah, no, it's brilliant. But that's that's the key, isn't it? That is that's that's the way. Yes, very Seems clever. Pressed in opposite directions, it, it does. It, it's one of those little tricks that once you start doing it, you realise that actually it does. That's the one. It really helps. Um, in this book, look at this. This is your book of zine. This is where this uh, this idea has come from. 28 different ideas in here, which works out at, what do we say, 28, oh, 28, so 28 pence is all, 28 projects, 28 pence each. I love this, look at that. 28 feel-good projects is how they're described. Oh, look, there's another one. That's another Dresden plate. So once you're Dresdening, yeah, you start seeing them everywhere. Look at that. No, I love this one, because look. It's brilliant. So all sorts of different ideas, different templates, and the templates you can get from online. Some of them are in the book. Some of them you can download from online. All sorts of different designs, different ideas. It's all in there. Seven ninety five. Check out your baskets, though, for that. So just, and it's literally just sewing down the sides on each of those. It is. What kind of seam allowance? Quarter inch. And what happens if you're not quite precise on that quarter inch? Are you going to actually manage to close that circle? You will do, but it won't fall into a circle as nicely. You might have to do some... Jiggery pokery. ...pressing and stretching to get it to look just right. So try and keep to the quarter inch as much as possible. Oh, it's a bit like fabric yoga, isn't it? <laughs> but it's stretching to get it in the right position. Jo, when are you back in? I'm back in on the 7th of July, I think, after this. Gosh, that's a little while away. What did, do you know what you're bringing us? I don't know yet. Has it not been decided? It's not. Ooh. Now, um, you've got to go home, haven't you, straight after the show, because... I have. You've got something special happening tomorrow, haven't you? I have. It's my son's birthday, so I've got cake duties when I get home. And how old is he tomorrow? He's 10. Will he be watching? He might be. Well, he might be at 
off doing his Saturday lessons at the minute. Oh, classes, but um, yes, 10 years old. It doesn't. Where does the time go? I know. Is he your eldest? He is. Wow. Hey. It happens, doesn't it? They do, they do grow up in a blink and there you go. So just sew these all together. All of the instructions in your bookazine if you want to grab that or if you're grabbing the um, Dresden plate templates, then you'll be able to get the instructions as to how to make a Dresden plate and then you can put it on whatever you wish, be it cushion, whatever, um, then you can, you can grab that. So the details for the kit, if you want to get the one that we're making from, this lovely pink one, it's 28 95 there. If you would like to get here, and this is Lynn Edwards who's come up with this creative grid. Details are down the bottom there, 20 pounds and 95 pence. Um, VLCQ32. Um, obviously I've got the worst colored top on for showing this. Oh look, here we go. So just while Joe sews there, it will make an 18 inch circle, then add on to that the three inch um, central circle that you've got. That will give you a diameter of 21 inches if you're making these. Um, but you've got all of the details as to where to go to find all of your tutorials and everything on how to use these. You've got that non-slip grip on there, which is what makes Creative Grids just stand out for me. Absolutely fab every time. Look at all these different sizes that you can do them in. Just brilliant. Absolutely fab. Um, and of course you get the, se uh, the central circle as well. So two of those coming to you for £20.95. The nice thing that I like about Creative Grids is that they get top experts to design their tools. So it's um, quilters designing for quilters so they know what they want. They know they how do. they need it to work. They know that they don't want it slipping. Um, you know, a lot of their kits, the dog ears will automatically be cut off. You don't have to worry about things like that. Now, talking of not having to worry about things like that, this looks stunning. Isn't it different in the pink? It is. So look Gosh. at that, how easily that went together. And it's just that perfect yeah. circle. And that looks like you have slaved over that. It does. And it really, really, really not. Just a clever technique. And it's good, isn't it? That's really good. So now, next job is to press the seams all in the same direction. Okay. So I'll do that. Yeah. Why do they all have to go in the same direction, Joe? It just is easier to press them all in the same direction than press them all open. Right. And if they're all going in the same direction, you get a nice, even, flat okay. finish. Yeah, you see this world of pressing, it still, it still mystifies me that there, there are so many different techniques to pressing fabric. Who knew? I, 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 don't, I didn't have a clue. Because I didn't really iron before. Okay. Try and speed through this. So this will be appliqued into the centre of the cushion front. Mm. So round it goes. There's 16, so it does take a, 16. <laughs> a little bit of a while. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> um, if you would like this fabric so that you can make this particular one, it is the cotton linen pom-pom cushion bundle, 28 95 You're getting five fat quarters, a metre of fabric, your pom-pom trim and your buttons all in there for 28 95 It's uh, They are nice buttons. It's all in there, ready to go. If the thought of putting buttonholes into the back is terrifying, which it, some people hate doing buttonholes. Um, just make loops and stitch those. So, so, the same way as binding. So quadruple the size you want your finished strip to be, press either edge into the center, fold it over again, stitch down the side, make a loop. Then you can have a button. Done. Your button can fasten with a loop as opposed to a hole. Oh, fab. Right, so I'll just give that. Press, just so want to make sure. Then from the top, do you then press it? Yes, you just want to make sure it's lying flat and in a circle. Quick. I mean, that is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Doesn't that look great? Excellent. I'm going to go and grab the other cushion so that we can compare. Compare and contrast. So this was the one that you made out of the other fabric. It is. There it is. Looking good. Um, and then what happens if it 
different again, isn't it? To slap up that. I mean, I've not. There's no Way. Steam or hang on, if we lift that off, because you do get. You could always pop it on a plain fabric, couldn't you? You could. How pretty is that? That's really striking, isn't it? Isn't that I love lovely? That hot pink. You can yeah. really see the circle. With a button. Oh, oh, two buttons. Hang on. Get back there, button. Oh, oh, oh. I had a perfect play place, didn't I? My mess. There we go. <laughs> Looks like an eye. It's watching you. Now we've got to do the circly bit in the middle. The so, technical term. Circly bit. How did you do the circly bit, Joe? This is the template. So I decided I wanted to keep the floral, make the floral elements stand out. So mm. I chose this fabric, pressed it in half, and in half again, and then used that template, lined it up, drew around the curve and cut it out to form the circle. Now, hey, if you have perfect. some, uh, this bit has interfacing behind it, or you can use one of your, le some leftover fabric. Why behind. do you need to interface the circle bit? So that you get the nice circular edge around the outside. You could press that under, um, cut out a cardboard template, go to spray, spray starch, cardboard template, some foil, and and then fold the edges in and press. Mm. So like you would, like the clamshell technique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this way I have, and this is um, iron-on interfacing, but sewing, right. sewing is fine. I'll just pop it on top. I'm just going to sew entirely around the circle and then snip a hole in there, turn it the right way out. Oh, okay. So I'll do this very quickly. That's not what I was expecting. So how come you don't just um, sew it onto the back? Oh, because you don't, you want to get rid of those raw edges. I do. I want those right, to be. Right, that's what we're doing. I'm kidneys. with you. That's the. Uh... It takes a little while sometimes. It, you know, sometimes you get this project that I really don't understand how this all goes together, and it's all just slotting into place. So this has all come out of the Bookazine, which is seven ninety five. It's kind of um, some of the fa most favourite projects out of uh, out of our quilting magazine. And it is your will weekend quilting bookazine. Um, it's seven ninety five, which works out at twenty eight pence a project for twenty eight projects. Um, so well done to Hazel, Janet, Sylvia, Linda, Sandra, Gillian, Suzanne, Sandy, Mavis, Rita. Um, all of you getting involved, and Julie, Penny, and another Julie as well, who are you know having a good browse. To name but a few. Whizzing around the circle, so just a quarter of an inch seam. Yes, I've speeded through this just to yeah. get through it, yes. Yeah. So I'll just clip V-shaped notches at intervals. This is so important, isn't it, with circles? And I can never remember which way round it is. When the circle is going, so this circumference here is larger than when it's going to be turned through. Is that when you snip circles out, uh, bees out, because you're trying to get more fabric into a smaller space? Yes. So, general rule of thumb, external curves, so ones that bend out. Mm. External curves, clip V-shaped notches. Internal curves, like I always think of it as you have in a chimney breast. You know, either side of a chimney breast, you'll have those two internal corners either mm. side. So, internal corners, the ones that go in, just give a clip. You don't need to cut the V. Oh, okay, but it's just going to give that ease. Yes. It's, it's these little tips, isn't it? It's just knowing when to clip, when not to clip. How much to clip? I mean, how regularly are you clipping here? Oh, about an inch and a half. It's, it, there's a photograph of the clipping in the book. So even if you get to it and think, oh, how, how much should I do? There's an easy reference picture and there. And that's all in the bookazine, Seven ninety five for that. Awesome. Okay. So that's your right side there, and a good old, good old cut through there. Make a hole. I'd have to be so careful doing that. You see, this is it again. This would be one of those things. I'd be like, "Are you sure? Are you sure I've got to do that?" And also, I use iron on here interfacing. But just give the sides a roll. And then actually, if you give it a little press, then it all sticks together nicely and you keep your crisp oh, nice. edges. So this is ready to go in a minute. 
Well, you've got plenty of time. You've got 10 minutes. Okay. I'll cut the cushion front out now. Oh, that's excellent. Does that need a press? It will do. Just make sure we get a nice... Now, the Bookazine, very, very popular. Seven ninety five for that. Um, you can get all the templates that come with the Bookazine. Uh, well, it comes with a whole load of templates already in it, but then any that they couldn't fit in are all downloadable off, um, off the website, and it shows you where to go for that. Nice and easy. Well, this is great. What a fabulous way to do a circle. So you, wow. you could, if you don't have interfacing, you use some of extra fabric, but that's the technique to that. But it is, it's just to get that seam, isn't it? It's just to get that edge wow. around there, that nice curved edge. Okay. I love, you see, this is it. Jo and her attention to detail. The more and more um, I see of Jo, the more I realise that she's secret attention to detail queen. Fussy cut so that you've got, <laughs> you've got that central floral element. It doesn't go unnoticed, Jo. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to press this for you. Is that okay? Oh, that's perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, and whilst I'm doing that, I've got a little message uh, from Penny. Love, love, love your shows. So great to see all the tips and ideas. Pen, I'm learning too. You see, this is it. Someone said to me the other day, um, "Did I always sew, or is it the job?" I said, "Well, I've always sewn, but badly. Uh, just and and now I'm learning the ways to make things." look less homemade yes and that's the joy of it so i actually i can be proud and and actually happier to gift yes to people because i don't feel embarrassed be or confident. like they're just be yeah or you know family they've kind of got to be nice haven't they if, they, <laughs> if you give them something you know i still remember the pasta necklaces that i painted and gave my mum i yes and was very upset when she didn't wear why didn't she wear that? I mean, height of fashion, surely. I gave my mum perfume made of petals and water, and she didn't dab it she on didn't twice wear it. a day, no. Twice a day? She'd have to bathe in it. <laughs> Amazing. You see, we are, we are, obviously, we were generous children. We were. And uh, so it's a good job that we learned to uh, make gifts that people do actually like. It's, and it's lovely to make a gift. It just shows that extra level of care, I think. There you go. There we go. Oh, so what have you got? Ready to go in a minute. This now, to do... These are the templates for right. the cushion front. Okay. And it says to cut two out and join them together, which is what I've mm. done there. And then we have the right angle. That's a quarter circle. Yes. So I folded. This is the right side of the fabric. Folded it over, pressed it, and folded it again. So I've got four layers. Just make sure these line up nicely. So I've got the four layers there. Now it's half a metre of fabric, which is just about the size you need. If right. you lose a little bit, it's fine. It won't, it won't be noticeable. So I'll line that up. I'll draw that curve and then I'm just going to cut this circle out and this will be the front. But also the fact that it's pressed twice like this, you will have hmm. the center marked in the circle. Oh, already? And okay. these lines, you could, it helps to line up. You can then position this correctly using... Well, of course. Because that was the bit I was dreading. I thought, oh, I'm going to centre this up. And actually, it's a doddle. So can you only get one central circle out of this half a metre of fabric? I think you could get two. So you could get a front and a back in the same... Uh, no, the back's slightly different because they, are, they overlap. So if you wanted, if you wanted to pop in a zip, or if you wanted to just sew it all up completely, then you can get two cushions out of the kit. But if you want to do it so that it overlaps and you use the buttons, yes, um, then you're only going to make one. Yes. So you get okay. more than half left. Yes. Oh, that's there, good. That. Oh, that's but, excellent. And I'll just detail. I've cut. It. It requires. I think it's 21 inches by 13 and a half. Rectangles have two of these for the backing. So right. take one off. So that when you've done your cushion front, oh, look at all the bits I've picked up. Sorry about that. You can use this to position this, and you can use the circle to cut out ah. this. And that's detailed that's here, as you can see. So We've got the nice straight edge because it's been cut exactly as a rectangle. We get yes. that nice straight edge that will go across the back of the cushion. Oh, that's excellent. Let me find this in the book. 
we can show you because actually the instructions are very clear in the book you're not just left floundering going how did I do that so um, that specific instruction look is here there you go that's your rectangle and that's your circle sitting in it so very clear clear instructions they are the brilliant we like we like and there's your segment cut out two of those um all in the magazine uh, oh hello each quarter is made up of four of these wedges yes. so if you line up a seam here and here so and then centrally as well yes it should just be then centered in the middle of your it's the cent is the centering is done for you it's done and that's so easy then to just follow those lines that's and then suggestion. i've got the pins here pin each of the wedges so they're not going anywhere so they're not going anywhere and then top stitch all around the edge and then that's fixed onto the cushion front what kind of thread would you use to do that i've gone for pale pink oh have you but i just went for a neutral sort of creamy beige color on that one can we compare and contrast with these two, look how different they are just by switching your fabric up. I pop that on so you get the idea. Yeah, I don't know if we can get it if it's best overhead. I'm just trying to see. Do you want it? There, look how different. Change of fabric, two different kits. If you want this one, the item is down on there. If you want this one, details over there. So different. They are. This one seems to bring out these points because of the navy and then yeah. this it's these hot pink sort of fuchsia pink it's sort of the circles yeah brought out and highlighted it's just gorgeous don't they look lovely and of course don't forget you get the pom-pom trim in there as well so a few minutes left to pin each one and it's actually the pinning is probably the bit that takes the longest it is really i won't top stitch because that does take a while Oh yeah, no, to go around, but stitching. pause with the needle down at each of the points and just pivot it round. Lift the foot up with the needle down, pivot it round, and then carry on. Even that because it's it's straight lines really, so that's not too. So that's easy difficult. for you. So is, no tricky triangles with this. So whether you are getting the template out of the bookazine or whether you're going for um, a template that's going to give you so many different size options, everything from um, tiddly tiddly tiny up to a 21 diameter Dresden, that's a big central piece of a quilt, it isn't is. it, if you're going for that, then do grab your creative grids. Um, we didn't use it here, but if this is the sort of thing that you love, if this is the effect that you love, then it's worth getting, getting, it the, getting the template that you can use and use and use again. 20 pounds and 95 pence, you even get your circle, and that's gonna give you your Dresden. VLCQ32, awesome. Very clever. Okay, and when this is all top stitched on, mm. the pom pom trim, you want the pom poms facing towards the center and just stitch it, baste it on all the way around with the zipper foot all the way around, sort of leaving a quarter of an inch free then, starting it there. To do it a little bit in. Yes. So out. So that the edge, the inside edge is your seam allowance. Yes. Yes. Does that make sense? So base that on and then you can layer up the back pieces and it goes together. I, when I put a back piece on, it's the one with the, is it the one with the button holes on first? I think it is. It does say in the instructions. Now I can't think which way around it goes. Yes. You'd want the button holes one on first, right size together. Yep. I sew one on and then position the other one. I, instead of doing it all in one go, lay, laying right. them both up, I do one at a time. I just find that a bit easier. How do you sew that central part on? Which, once this is top stitched on, this is just in the same way. You give it a press to find the center. You center it up, make sure that it's, it covers the wedges evenly all the way around and then mm -hmm. pin it on. And again, just top stitch. Top stitch around the edge oh lots of lovely ways that you can be getting your hands on this dresden plate whether you're going for uber uber pretty in pink just the difference in the two i can't get over it just by a change of fabric 
I mean, I think this one would look beautiful on a bed, in the centre of a bed, oh, something in a bedroom. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely. Don't, I mean, doesn't it just have to be outdoor cushions? Look at the difference in there. Just, this is what I'm still getting my head around. Just gorgeous. So, uh, in order to make this one, details down the bottom of your screen there, $32.95. Um, if you want the creative grid, which means that you can keep making your Dresden plates, um, then that is £20.95. But that means that you can just keep making, keep making. Um, if you would like the book zine, so that you've got 28 different projects to work from in here, that's £7.95. Which is great. What do we work? That are 28, 28 projects at 28 pence a project. Brilliant. It's good, isn't it? Absolute. Um, L-S-I-E 64. Um, or whether you want the pink version here, uh, then that is 28 95 All of these will be on the website for you. So underneath where you've been watching live today, thank you very much for joining us. All of the details will be down there. Um, jo, thank you. Yes. Oh, thank you. I will see you in a couple of weeks then. I'm going okay. to go have a look over here at everything that we've got for you. So, um, ooh, where should we go? Let's just very quickly recap. Here we go. That's, that's your pink. They are your fat quarters. 60% cotton, 40% linen on these. Straight thread. Um, and they are coming with your pom-pom. You get two sets of buttons. Uh, you're also going to get half a metre, half a metre. So $28.95 for that one. Uh, we've also got this one, which is your uh, Dashwood Fat Quarters. Let me show... Oh, we're, we're missing one of the Fat Quarters, aren't we, Aldis? So let's have a little run through here. So again, a metre backing, backing fabric as well and your eight designer Dashwood Fat Quarters. And how different did that look on that cushion? Just fab. Um, you're also in these half a metre and a half a metre. Lovely wooden buttons here and your pom-pom trim. If you bought the monkey from earlier, you're going to need some stuffing as well. That's 2 95 again. Look on the website for that. It's so soft. Um, or whether or not, if you want to make um, just a circular cushion and stuff it and sew it, then this is, this is a great place to start. Two ninety five for that. OAGQ25. And also, if you want to grab this brand new today, absolutely gorgeous um, box here, all filled with all of your sewing goodies, then twenty nine ninety five gets you that. Lots of goodies on the show. You can shop after we've finished because we are, our four hours are up. But you can continue to shop afterwards. And coming up tomorrow, we have got Sew in a Row, uh, Tasha's Toots, Quilt as You Go at 10 a.m. And 11 is your bag making accessories show. So that's bags of quilting fun coming up tomorrow here on Sewing Quarter. Thank you ever so much for joining us this Saturday. Um, I hope you have a fabulous rest of the day. Rest up, we'll see you bright and early at eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, go and do all your chores, get them all done so that you can relax and watch us first thing tomorrow. Um, from me and from Joe. thank you very much, bye-bye. Join us on Wednesday the 28th of June when Angie Atwood will demonstrate some tools and techniques that will revolutionize the way you quilt. These amazing templates by Westerly let you create accurate free motion quilting designs and come highly recommended by our experts. Available in several sizes to fit a range of sewing machines, they'll help you create professional looking projects in no time. Angie will show some of the amazing things you can achieve with these handy tools and will demonstrate an array of tips and tricks on all things quilting. So join us for Quilters Tool Time, Wednesday the 28th of June at 8am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78.